Okay, it's time for Quest for Semi-Glory. We're back to Valhalla tonight. Last time, we had a little break. We got to go sit in our apartment out on the balcony with our boss and just kind of chit-chat for a while, and we discovered that was, uh... That was the extent of Chapter 1. Chapter 1, mind you. So we've got a whole bunch more to go, it seems. Uh, we need 8,000 by, what was it, the 24th, right? Um, but it seems that she needs a shoulder, shoulder massager, so let's go get that right away. How much? 600 bucks, that's it, huh? Let's get it. We made like $3,000 last time, so it's fine. It's fine, we'll be, we'll be all good. We'll be all good with that, I think. Like, does it actually show up in my, in my place somewhere? We got the, we got the fan. We got the posters and shit. There's the Dharma. There's the, the, the game system we bought. Ball. Yeah, of course, the shoulder massager, quote unquote. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Hey, Omega Weapon, how you doing? Good to see you. Uh, let's see if there's any news to read before we move on. Uh, da, da, da. No, we read all those, but it looks like the good old shit rag that is Augmented Eye might have something to read here. Men prefer Christmas cakes. Oh, do we now? One of the signs from Christmas cake referred to women aged 26 or above who are regarded as undesirable. Really? Is that a real thing? I don't think that's a real thing. That's like a Christmas, Christmas cake that ceases being useful after December 26th. Ah, I get it. Then I'm going to say develop a sweet tooth who doesn't like a mature woman. Oh my god, yeah, alright. <laughs> this is about as shitty as I would have expected it to be for, a, for an article, right? Who wrote this garbage? Oh, Lana Smithy, of course. Of course. They've all necessary experience already, plus I'm so tired to spoil the mature girls doing stupid shit. <laughs> all. Christmas what? Is that like the opposite of beefcake? <laughs> that was a dumb article. That was a dumb article. Alright. <clears throat> AM Township 64. Uh, Zig Van Soft just unveiled a new line of personal computers for the anime enthusiast market. Several attempts at appealing to a broader, broader audience with the Uranus game console. Ha! <laughs> Uranus. Brilliant. Launch games have been announced as well. They include popular franchises like Monster Girl RPG, Monster Girlfriend, and Monster Companion. Oh my goodness, yeah. We're going for the Wii audience. <laughs> Uh, 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 <laughs> what's dignity anymore? Oh, goodness. All right, this is all what you would expect. BKDV 186 to get a his historic update. Look at things that are freaking out, blah, blah, blah. Heavy Industries releasing, blah, 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 blah. Full compatibility of nano camo along civilian, civilian models of this weapon, the use of nano camouflage, and the option to customize the relic for free at the blah, 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 blah. Uh, yada yada yada, da, 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 thanks to the we can now sneak past the enemies using the environment to our favor. Our equipment is basically invisible with nano camo. Oh yeah, that's a good thing to release to civvies, huh? Here's something to make your guns invisible. Great, awesome. That'll help the crime rate. Fuck me. How was my Thanksgiving? My Thanksgiving was good. Let's go. Got to see family for a bit, got to eat a lot of food, got to drink a bunch. You know, that's about the best I could expect for a little mini vacation, you know? Hmm. All right, we're done with that. Um, let's save because we did important shit, apparently. <laughs> All right. You like guns? Nah, I don't need a penis that badly. <laughs> Lol. All right, let's 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 go to work. Let's go to work. We're done reading the news. Off to work with us. Tuesday, December 20th. Ah, Gil's back. He's fine. And apparently I brought 4A with me. Yasunori Kato is in the bar. What? <laughs> what the fuck? Why is boss freaking out? What the shit? What was that all about? <laughs> yeah, exactly. What the fuck? The fuck, man? You say you brought Kato to the bar? No, my cat. Cat! Well, it's even better, eh, Foray? Eh? Meow. So cute. Why'd you bring him? Heard some apartments in my building were being raided. I don't have anything suspicious, but you never know. I'd rather have them here. All right. <laughs> Say something about the health regulations, but we already had dogs really shit up the bathroom, so whatever. Aw. 
Oh, she's gonna take care of our little kitty for us. This is so sweet. <clears throat> hey, Gil, how do you, how do you always come so early? Lives close by. A small apartment nearby. Something about the BTC housing program. Anyways, let's, yeah, let's get going. Let's pick out some rad ass tunes. Let's get rid of some bullshit, I guess. We're keeping the first one though, cause I like it. Uh, all right, we'll see what we got. Let's go commencing simulation. Um, gaze invited, sure, why not? Uh, Marshal the White Knights, yeah. Uh, dusk. And out of orbit we already have. Alternate reality and showtime. Yeah, showtime sounds rad. Mix drinks and change lives, let's do it. Whoa, it's a dog! It's a corgi, right? Well, that's a corgi. <clears throat> dog, another dog. Not just another dog, I came here as a part-timer. Oh, what? The dog is gonna be serving drinks with us? Come on, man. Oh, no. <laughs> Part timers here. My dog. Why? 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 <laughs> Look at him. He has a Hawaiian shirt and sunglasses. Yeah, just what we need to class this place up, I guess. Oh my goodness. Why? He's a Shiba, not a Corgi. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Whatever. I guess they're not the same. Ah. <laughs> you and me both, Jill. You and me both. Shibas are a Japanese counterpart to corgis. Okay, come on. I was sort of half right then. Both funny looking and dogs used by the royalty, lol. Anyway, starting today, this dog will help around here. It doesn't matter what your name is. Wow, that's rude. Please don't shout. Sorry. Just call him Rad Shiba. Are you serious? This <laughs> is the raddest thing here. Thanks. Yes, he mostly help getting orders, bringing clients in, and cleaning, but he ought to know how things work. Cleaning? That'd be a change of pace. He'll act like a client and see how you work. Okay. Uh, what do you want to drink? Grizzly Temple. Oh, <laughs> Oh, goodness. Alright. Okay. Alright. Grizzly Temple it is. Well, it's a dog. I'm not sure it's got a great tolerance, so we'll just give it a normal Grizzly Temple. One, two, three, one, two, three. There, all blended. Shaka, 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 shaka. Blended. Bam, here you go. Wow, this is awful, yeah. People actually pay for this shit? It's apparently in the year of our lord, 2070X. Dogs can be, uh,. Bar helpers. Help the funding of my organization. Let me in with those hurting supremacists. A more noble and benign organization. I love this. You're, uh, okay. Canine Independent Rescue Association. Alright. Give a place to where dogs can, can be dogs and save them from themselves. Uh, okay. What I love, but damn, this is expensive. Decided to take part time jobs to help fund anything it needs. We, need, we want to help Sierra be the best it can be. What do you do there, Rad Shiva? <clears throat> Pay treatment for hurt dogs, give food to the hungry ones, play with the bored ones. We're there for everyone. Oh, that's very sweet. You have a menu? Something like that. Yeah, here. Avoid the part with the promo drinks. <laughs> well, if you dream, I like the sound of this one. All right. All right. Well, let's just see what we can do with this here. Can we double this up? We can double this up. We're going to double this one up. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Optional karma tree. One, two, three, four, why not? Aged and mixerood. Shika, 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 bam! Fluffy dream. Why did you pick a bar? It seemed fun. I don't need that many weird skills to be part of this, so it's my best bet. Ah, it's close to home, so I can get here by walking. Do love me some walks, I can walk all day. Well, duh, you're a dog. You're a little Shiba dog, of course you like walks. Stuff like food handler certificate, previous work experience, or thumbs. Opposable digits is kind of important for most jobs. I'm kind of surprised it wouldn't be important for this one. 
How did you pick a bar? Um, on a whim too, I guess. On a place where I could see people come and go all the time. Well, bars, airports, train stations, you know, all those. A bit more glamorous than just being a store clerk, yeah. Not the way you mix stuff. Is it... Hey, it's a cat. Cat! Oh, no. And dogs hate cats or something? We don't hate them unless they're intruders. <laughs> His name is Foray, huh? Hello, Foray, let's play. Uh, no playing allowed. You'll make a mess. Foray, go back to boss's office. Meow. Want something else? Yeah, but I'll talk with John Face here for a bit. <laughs> Poor Gil. Lol. We get riled up so easily by dogs, so I'm just tired, I guess. Hello, Jill. Oh? Oh! Is Say back? Say! Oh, you're back! And you're injured. That sucks, but she's back. She's okay! Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, Say. <clears throat> Fell from a really tall place to a really rough spot. Ambulance? Just got out of one. Don't worry. <laughs> They're rough. Luckily, these bandages help conceal my identity. <laughs> I come straight here. I ambulance where I got treatment couldn't stray too far away from the hospital. They're nice people. I've talked to them a lot while on rescue duties. It's nearby. Yours is the closest friendly face I could find. Aw, say he's so sweet. Fucking rad. Well, uh, what's her face? Stella will be happy. We'll be happy to know that Say is okay. Regain my composure before doing anything else, so here you are. You're scared because they might come for me. I can leave you. No, 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 don't worry. Security systems with the bar are top notch, and my boss is also the bouncer. Yeah, so you're actually safer here, so you're not worried. Worried about you? Fuck yeah, I say. You okay? You were at the bank, and then I find out you disappeared, and now you show up with all those bandages. You fine? <laughs> oh, Christella, she was worried sick about you. I was worried sick about you too, say. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. It'll slow down a bit. Medications make me feel everything more intensely, almost like a hangover. I know someone like a bartender was worried about me though, thanks. Oh, you're welcome, say. She's real sweet. Rina I know has been ignoring me, so I was feeling lonely. <clears throat> well, you've seen the lynches they give to any white knight they find. Ignoring me, they're actually saving me from getting kicked to death. Yeah, that's fair. Good deeds finally paid off, I guess. <laughs> Get you anything? Yeah, something sweet without alcohol. Thank god these pants still have my wallet in them. Yeah, please, I want to pay for my drinks. Alright, that's fair. You know, don't don't deny somebody who wants to pay for drinks. And yes, I mean, you won't be able to change my mind. Yeah, there we go. Sweet no alcohol, right? Coming up. Sweet without alcohol. Even though alcohol would help the pain, honey, but whatever, I guess. Here we go. You know what? We'll give her a big one. A big blue fairy. Five, six, seven, eight. Uh, oop. Landerjide, one, two, but no alcohol. Aged and mixer root. Bam. Here you go. What happened to you? Where did you fall from? Escaping the place near the end of the whole thing, and I had to make a leap of faith. I'm from higher places, but I landed badly. Most of my injuries are actually from the some debris that fell on you. Broken arm is actually from the fall. Rolled to mitigate the fall, but I made a bad move and broke it. Good thing I drink lots of milk. <laughs> Got your calcium going on there, say. That's very smart. Very smart. Under rubble for quite a bit, but luckily someone found me. Woke up in the hospital. They told me some guy brought me there. I don't know who he was, but I owned my life. Oh, was that Gil? Was that Gil, maybe? Maybe Gil saved you there, say. Nothing. You just sound, um, cheerful. I'm alive. Why wouldn't I be? Yeah, that's good. That's, that's true. You gotta be positive when you're alive. I mean, that's the, that's the first one. <clears throat> Hey, dinner. How you doing? Good to see you. I just found a QFSG.com page. Super slick. Well, thank you. I think it's cool, too. After all, I built it. <laughs> so, of course, I think it's cool. But that's ni it's nice that other people think it's cool, too. That's really flattering. Thank you. I don't think too much about it. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, oh. How are things around here? I heard there's a huge commotion when the whole thing happened. I sleep here on the bar on Saturday, but... This could have been worse. I don't know that. Contact Stella, she was on the verge of despair yesterday. Uh, um, oh no, you gotta tell Stella you're okay, say! If you won't, I will! Another drink. I, uh, uh, um, a bleeding Jane. Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll do it, because that's what she asked for, but still. But still. 
Okay, this one doesn't have alcohol in it either, so that's fine. Four, five, six, uh, wait, 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 six, there we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, all blenderinoed. Shika, 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 blender. There we go. There you go. Cheers. So, how are things inside the bank? What happened inside the bank? How'd you manage to get through it? I was with this nice bunch of people while they were apparently nice at the very least. Tried our best to find a way out of the whole thing, cracking through security, finding safe spots, but then... Uh, oh no, what happened, say? <clears throat> it's just the analgesic still numbing me, yeah. I think I leave now, thank you for everything, Jill. You okay? Fine, fine, I'll say. I hope she's gonna be alright. I desperate people stuck in one building is enough to scar anyone. Yeah, that's probably true. I shouldn't have said all that. I mean, if it's true that she just woke up and ended up here. I don't know, I feel like I was being too pushy. Ah, Jill, don't worry about it. It's fine. She's just worried. I bet she's just still in shock. You come here for a drink to kind of calm your nerves, and, you know, that's what happens sometimes. Mmm. Mmm. Good stuff. Make sure she's fine on her way. Yeah, go 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 look after her there Gail. Thank you That was a kind of a quick uh, was this day eight now chapter two <clears throat> Well if Stella comes in again, we'll tell her that says okay Because she is lay worried I won't want to keep her worried. All right, well, we just kind of picked out this shit, so let's just go with it. Oh, Jamie's back. Hey, Jamie. Oh, man, a few words. Is Did he get a cut on his face, or has that always been there? That must have been always there. Now, Gil went to go uh, look after Say for a bit. He's fine. Yeah, whatever people say they're fine, they're always lying. Take Fori if he needs to use the bathroom. He has a small litter box. Alright, as far as my cat, some apartments in my building are being inspected today, so I brought him to work in case they enter my place while I'm gone. I'm gonna get you. Usual gut punch. Alright, Jamie's been real nice, so we're gonna give him a double gut punch, if we can. Yeah. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, aged, and we'll give him, we'll give him a little something there because he looks like he needs the distraction a little bit. Uh, aged and mixed. Shika, 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 shika. Gut punch. There you go, buddy. There you go, Jamie. Have that. Or gut punch. He had to make a joke. Uh, like what? About giving the client a punch to the stomach or something. Uh. Gil's the only one that pays attention to that, though. <laughs> Didn't receive proper training. He read an old manual my boss had. There was some sort of stipulation mentioning the need to say puns, but... Like it was some sort of anti-counterfeit measure. Come on, really? <laughs> Give me a break. I mean, if, if they copied such a silly stipulation, they'd be caught in the act, I guess. Like when the dictionaries added fake words to spot someone else just copied all of it? What? Is that a thing that happened? Is that really a thing? Uh, I guess it does. I guess it is a thing. Too amusing to be honest. So, what's on your mind? This is distracting you so much. What does one say when they're actually fine? You know, that's a good question. Like something, like fine seems so... Like it's too vague, right? Like it's gotta be I'm good or I'm doing alright or something. It's gotta be better than just one single, you know, single syllable word, you know? Nothing you should think too much about. Come on, Jamie. Open up to the bartender here. Come on. What's going on, man? Like those times you just feel uneasy for no good reason. Uh, I felt that. I have actual reasons to feel that way, though. Come on, think of it. Mercenary is quite the uncommon occupation, wouldn't you say? Oh, I wouldn't say it's, uh... I wouldn't say it's that uncommon. The word mercenary is pretty wide, actually. Doesn't necessarily just mean gun for hire, it means pretty much anything you get paid to do, right? <clears throat> I'm Mango. There you go, that's better than fine. But, ah. Uh, 
Would you really want to use mango though? I've had mangoes before, fresh mangoes. They're not that great. I am H O, but whatever. What, what, what does it matter what I think about? I see what I do as bounty hunting actually. Okay, so this guy is a mercenary in the truest sense of the word. <clears throat> Only jobs I don't take are those where I have to deal with people who just happen to be in the wrong place. There's some people willing to pay to off someone that has done no wrong. Yeah, unfortunately that is true. Things like killing someone that owns a house in the way of some building or a nosy reporter. Oh boy, that's, uh, that's dark shit. Not better for turning a blind eye to such requests, but I'm not going to be the one dealing with those. If I'm sent to kill someone that has done something like stealing or killing and I get paid for it, you can see it as bounty hunting. Yeah, I suppose. Your mangoes are top tier fruits, juicy and pulpy and... Eh, I don't like the taste of mangoes. Like, I had super fresh mangoes when I took a trip to Costa Rica, and I was expecting to be, like, awesome and shit like that, but it was just, like, eh, not the greatest. Did have lots of pineapple, though. Oh, pineapple's good. Pineapple is fucking top-tier fruit. Let me tell you what. Fresh pineapple. Oh, mmm. Mmm, it's good shit. All right, sorry. Seeing as body hunting. It's just cheap justifications for killing people, though. In the end, they're cheap. However, I won't be the one to kill for petty reasons like those. But let's change the subject here. I'll have something better if you don't mind. Yeah, okay. Something bitter, that's a tad too broad. Maybe something manly would be better? Oh, well, let's, let's start with bitter and we'll see if one uh, ends up being manly, right? Well, that's not manly. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, uh, he just had a gut punch, right? How about a, how about a pile driver? Yeah. There we go. And I like Jamie, so I'm gonna keep giving him doubles of this shit. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All mixerude. Shika, 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 bam! There you go. Bitter and manly. <clears throat> Used to eat Bronson roots every afternoon, they said they made him stronger. More nutrients per gram than most vitamin supplements. <laughs> ba -ba. Ba -ba. <laughs> Pineapple! <laughs> I, I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. But pineapples are like uber tier fruits. Oh, the best. I wouldn't necessarily say it's my favorite fruit. I'd say probably bananas are my favorite fruit, just because they're really easy to eat and they're tasty, but whatever. Grandpa knew what he was doing. Seems I always managed to make you comfortable, Chill. Sorry. Aw, oh, Jamie, don't worry about it. You're fine. Well, I guess it's mostly because I can't wrap my mind around the whole taking a human life thing. Yeah, it's certainly not for everybody. Now you've killed people and now talking to me here? It's weird. Quote unquote. Reminds me of when I first took my sex ed classes. <laughs> Sex ed classes were weird. Certainly. Certainly they were. Couldn't wrap my mind around people doing that stuff and living normally. Like with sex ed, it's better that you stay that way, mind you. <laughs> oh. Taking lies is not something you should get used to. Well, I'd say if you get used to taking lies, that uh, speaks to some serious psychosis. Yes, I know a good way to change the subject a bit. What, you want another drink? I'd like to hear about the most dangerous bounty hunter in the city. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's hear about that. There's actually a bounty hunter organization in the city not too long ago. Law enforcement would put a price on a dangerous person's head and pay for the proof of that person's death. The guy everyone called Jet Black James. He got the nickname because he always wore black clothes. Interesting, interesting thing was that the black clothes were there to hide blood stains he got from his contracts. His tracking skills were top-notch. His information network was the best. Don't even joke, he would finish the bounty within half an hour or he wouldn't take the reward. He was too good, in fact. Uh-oh. Oh, what's, what's the other shoe to drop on this one? At one point he took all bounties and didn't take a single reward. He was just that crazy by then. Uh, last bounty that the organization ever posted was on James's head. Police sat him cornered. His last words were, send it all to my account before shooting himself. One more bounties after that. Registered bounty hunter was charged with many counts of manslaughter using his old targets as proof. Oops. Somebody else tried to recreate the organization, the seed of doubt would grow in little no time. Guarantee is there that such an organization wouldn't actually be a trap. That's a good point. Why bounty hunters and mercenaries tend to be independent. Use the registered bounty hunters to take care of the most bothersome criminals, then dispose of the bounty hunters by pressing charges using their targets as evidence. 
Also true. Police would definitely do the shady shit like that. So, no, Jet Black James made sure that no law enforcement organization is able to set up bounty hunting of any kind. Ever since then, anyone crazy enough to be a bounty hunter works independently. Yep. I actually had those suspicions I'm telling you about since the day I heard such a thing exists. Glad to know I wasn't just paranoid. <laughs> I don't know how well you changed the subject, but that was certainly one interesting story. Just make sure you're not a rebuilt Jet Black James or something, right? I mean, he's got the one black arm here, right? Or dark maroon or whatever that happens to be. James is pretty common, Jill. Well, it could be an alias, whatever. Well, he's Jamie. Real name was actually Theodore. Story left in the throat a bit dry. Get you a beer. All right, you want a beer? I'll get you a beer. In fact, I want to hear more stories, so we'll make it a double beer. One, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mixeroo. Shaka, 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 shaka. Bam! Here's your beer. One of mankind's oldest friends. Cheers. Yeah, that's true. But it's... Oh, God. I just don't like beer myself. Beer is so disgusting. Obvious thing I see is that you don't take the use of the word kill in your stride the way Gillian does. Or Gil. Gil. Whatever. Not good with violence. That's good. Yeah. People by default should not be good with violence. That would be very bad. <clears throat> No type of beer whatsoever. No type of beer whatsoever. I mean, I've had the supposedly good beer, like microbrews and self-made shit like that, but it just all tastes bitter as heck to me. I do not like them. I mean, it's fine that other people like them. More power to you, but I just, I can't get into it. I cannot. Bum, bum, bum. That's interesting, though. And I compare you to it's obvious Gil is some, has seen quite the share of traumatic stuff. Yeah, he was former KGB or so, I'm meant to understand, I suppose. As a handful because of that sometimes. Still, he's one of the most reliable people I've ever met. Where is he, by the way? An eye on a girl that came here earlier. I feel that if something happened, he could resolve the situation. His nose must be itching after we talk so much about him. Well, I've gotta go. See you, Jamie. You were fun. Thanks for hanging out, bruh. <clears throat> i play this for a second time later being a little bit reckless. Yeah, I might. I very well might, depending on how long this first playthrough takes. Uh, wait, if I say it out loud, I feel like I just tamped fate, but let's try it anyways. And it's just been gloomy face after gloomy face, and that dog. <laughs> sure if the next client changes that. Oh no, now it's gonna be like J. Jonah Jameson or D. Donovan Dawson or whatever the fuck his name is, right? Damn it, I was gonna guess Ingram next. <laughs> what a shit. Alright, hey Ingram, you have done being edgy, like Super Edgelord Supreme or something? <laughs> All right. Got out of my job and need a drink badly. And remember, this crack house was nearby. Well, I guess that's better than calling it a hellhole, right? We've advanced from hellhole to crack house. But he was actually kind of polite last time he was here, right? Near the end? Bleeding Jane. All right. All right. And he said he just got off of work. So we're gonna give him a little, a little something, something. I'm gonna be nice to him this time. I'm gonna give him a, I'm gonna give him a big old bleeding Jane. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's no optional karma chain. That's unfortunate. All right, whatever. Blend it up. Shaka, 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 shaka. There you go. It's just like the pasta sauce my mom used to make. I'm guessing that's supposed to be an analog to Bloody Mary, but. I don't like Bloody Marys either. Like the tomato juice that's in them is just like, ugh. <laughs> Drinks aren't supposed to be savory like that, but whatever, what do I know? Watered down, artificial, and nasty. So where do you work, Ingram? Not a specific job, but there's this well. Network of engineers in need of assistance. I have no idea what they do there, but I can follow instructions and that's all they need. All right, yeah, good enough, I guess. I'm working with this Cilia girl working on some experimental powered suits. Oh, sweet! Sweet mech suits, awesome. Only duty is to give them maintenance once a day. What's that about a network? All those nerds know each other and they recommend me. So apparently he's pretty good at his job if he gets good word of mouth. Don't ask questions and quickly learn to do whatever they need. Pretty monotonous at times though. Well, jobs usually are. 
Why are you giving me that look? You're just more cheerful than the last time you came. <laughs> we'll have good days and bad days. Today just so happens to be a not bad day. Well, that's that's not good, but it's not bad. So whatever, that works, I guess. Besides, everyone's scared shitless in their houses. The streets are clear with no traffic jams. Yeah, true enough. <clears throat> Always a plus. Almost became a bad day, though, thanks to some teens on the way here. What did they do? It's not what they did, it's what they said. They were talking about how they should just go to Zaibatsu Corpse HQ and blow it up. Well, teens will be teens. They ain't actually gonna do it. Hopefully they're not that stupid to do it. Seen one too many kids throwing around the let's kill the king attitude when it comes to Zaibatsu crap. <laughs> yeah, no shit. The Zaibatsu Corpse building suddenly went down, the ones behind it would still be alive. Killing the head honcho just means his or her duties go to the next rim job on the totem. <laughs> Alright, Ingram. You're doing okay for today. You're doing okay for today. Well, I bet they're plotting to kill each other anyways. Kids these days see too many action films where the rebels save the day by killing the evil corporation. I don't want to get to you. I don't. I just hate teenagers. You and me both, Ingram. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't a great teenager myself, but teenagers nowadays are just like... Ugh. Ugh. Whatever. It's fine. Mm. It's interesting, though. A big corporation control is somehow more dangerous than a regular government. Well... Well... Depends on the kind of government. But no, I'm not a political person. No shit. <laughs> Alright, give me a Zen Star and try not to mess it up. <clears throat> Alright, whatever, man. At least you're telling me the names of drinks you want and not being like that crazy actor dude or whatever his face was. Four of each ingredient all in the rocks mixed. Alright, one, three, four, one, two, 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 three, four, on the rocks, and mixerood. Shaka 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 bam! There you go. Just as nasty as I've heard. Then why the fuck did you order it? Yeah, exactly. Not your problem. <clears throat> Just trying to make some conversation here, Ingram. You don't need to be a little, a little pouty Pam there. Where's the red comet? Well, she's still four is headed your own way. Let's play four, let's play. Why why is the dog out here now? Customer, sorry for the intrusion. <clears throat> dog here and a cat? Yeah, one's one's a talking bartender's assistant, I guess. And one's my my little kitty. Just hangs around here. He looks well groomed and his fur looks healthy. Seems to take good care of him. Aw yeah, he grooms a cat person, huh? Okay. Oh, it's just common sense. All right, well, never mind. You like cats, Mr. I don't dislike them. All right, well, that's something. I do dislike having animals near me when I'm eating or drinking. <clears throat> so, take my leave. <laughs> don't count on it. Well, he was, he was like Mr. Edgelord the first time he came here, but he came back for some reason. Congratulations, you scared a client off. <clears throat> or is it guilty as me? Yeah, what I like for you. He's my baby. Aw. Now go. Play or something. Right. <laughs> Fucking dog. Heck, what happened with Say? Cat Boomer Girl picked her up. Oh, yay! She's with Stella now. Oh, that's good. Didn't see anything, but I guess she was happy. Is something? Only Jamie and some other guy. Look exhausted. This day was filled with people carrying heavy emotional baggage. Today... I burst out of the door. Yeah, if Dorothy showed up, I wouldn't mind that either. Anyway, nothing a good night of sleep can't fix. Let's wrap things up around here and call it a day. All right. <clears throat> no mistakes. Good commission. Not a whole lot of drinks got sold, but we got some good bonuses and shit. So we're almost to eight grand. Almost enough to uh, pay off our, what was it, electric bill or something? <clears throat> so go us. Go us. By the 24th. All right. We got three days to make, like, about... I would say 1400 bucks. Her beer stash is running out, huh? Well, we can't have that. As nasty as beer is, we can't have uh, running out of it. <laughs> the hairballs, you leave bigger ones in the shower. Ew. All right. Um, uh, what, what, what did I want to... Oh, beer. Right, right, right. Beer. Beer on discount, I guess. Wow, thousand bucks for a thousand bucks for beer on discount? Are you kidding me? Jeez. 
That doesn't seem like it's very much of a discount. All right, whatever. Let's see what we got for news. Oh, we got some new stuff on the whatever 2chan. New Township 64, literally no games. Anyone else tired of this Monster Girl meme? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> nice self dig. Why would I want gameplay in a Sukumon game? Lol. Oh, this is pretty girls. There's nothing to back it up. What? So they got pretty fronts, but not pretty rears? That's bad. Even if I want the hardware, probably gonna be yet another underpowered piece of shit. I like a competition to do better. I think I'll just quit gaming. Nothing but trash as of late. Remember when games were actually good and Des made them love and care? Me neither. Oh, what a bunch of fucking sad sacks. God. Well, that's a pretty accurate depiction of 2chan, actually, so whatever. Nano camo underwear, that seems like a bad idea. I'll get a pair just to see what kind of skin I can use with them. Nickel and die. Oh, nice. Nice spelling of nickel there, buddy. You'll see there's no way to use the skin you want. It's going to get cracked day one. Maybe, but I don't think it'll be that fast. Yeah, I think it's just going to Monica has some skins, blah, 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 blah. Walls are made of that thing, and I'm all right. The wall's hacked yet? I'm going to make it. You now I have underwear that can change his looks. Don't you just love the future? What if they weren't such a bunch of assholes with their business practices and don't buy the underwear? I won't. Wow. That actually almost seemed like a reasonable thread. I think we read this one already. Yeah. Alright. 2chan will be 2chan, I guess. Alright, what else does this rag has have here? Knocker popularity sinks as pro wrestling rises. That seems weird. It's known as the king of sports soccer is no longer even a shadow of its former self after the corruption scandals of the last World Cup. It has begun drifting towards the theatrical magic of the pro wrestling industry. Blah, 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 blah. The 20 million viewers. That's a, lot, that's a lot of viewers. At this moment, fans seem to be vastly favoring pro wrestling. It's easier to follow something we know is predetermined as opposed to something that pretends to be a legit sport. Oof. Harsh. People kicking a ball is boring as shit, too. <laughs> Brilliant. <clears throat> A weekly interview with Prime Minister Quincy, he revealed as an unusual taste for a certain rare food, fried chicken. Oh dear. Is this a... Oh, I think that's a that's a reference to the current shitlord in charge of the USA. Sounds a bit rude to say I like something most people don't have access to, but if I just can't deny it, I'd love for it. He tastes chicken breasts like the ones that can't make... Just can't go back. Blah 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 blah. Also confessed his desire to ban instant food, although his later said it was ingest. One ban instant food says blah 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 blah. Yeah, weird. Monster girlfriend Shirari becomes the best best selling video game of all time. Waifu revolution for the 2010s is no longer. What? So wait, it's 2017 right now, and they're saying there's a waifu revolution to the 2010s. So we got three years to get on that shit. Well, I guess tw two years, right? There has a trend has since gotten out of control since the standardization of VR technologies allows people to live full time inside their computers. That sounds pretty rad, actually. <clears throat> As a result of this crazy, it should, shouldn't be a huge surprise to know that the popular Monster Girlfriend's camera is blah, 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 blah. No lie, the game has shipped nearly 90 million copies. Holy shit. Waifu age real? Well, there's your answer. Nice. Weird. Interesting, interesting. All right, did, has she posted something new yet? No, I want I want her to come back to the bar too. She was nice, Peter Miki. She is this is a very pleasant lady. All right, so we got the beer, we read the news. Well, it's time to go to work. <clears throat> mm. Hey, boss, how you doing? Timing. Is it you two always make me feel like I'm late? It helps that dog isn't coming until sometime later. Booyakasha, all right. You have something planned for Sunday? Uh, watch till you make it Christmas special with a thousand grams of black fur in my lap. Uh, is foray really only a kilogram heavy? That's, uh, is that pretty light? That seems like it's pretty light. Thinking about holding a small mega Christmas party here this Sunday. You in? Sure, why not? Yeah, let's go have a party in a bar. At least we'll have plenty of drinks. But right, any client you're acquainted with, the more the merrier. Aw, cool, we can invite Say and Stella and Dorothy and Jamie and uh, Kiramiki if she shows up again. Great stop, they found whatever or whoever they were looking for. 
Anyways, we better start working. Yeah, you better. She thinks. All right. And Ingram. I don't know if I'd invite Ingram. He seems like a bit of a sad sack. All right, let's get rid of that. And that. And let's keep moving. I don't know, like, any of these, so whatever. And below lights. And I want to know how to unlock the rest of these, too. Nighttime maneuvers. All right, let's go. Lock the bell. Uh oh, who is it? Who is it? Place your bets. Who is it? I'm gonna guess it's uh, Dorothy. Oh damn. Oh. Oh, she's kind of cute though. Buffy dream. All right. I see your ID. She does look very young. ID because I'm the ghost of Mega Christmas Past. Alright, try again. You have any money to pay for the drinks? Well, I... Do you? Yeah, yes, I have money. Okay, well... Is there any booze in that to begin with? No, okay. No booze for you, but I will make it a double because I'm a friendly sort. One, two, three, four, five, six... Aged and mixed. Bam. Alright, here you go. One no booze drink. So, who are you to, who are you here to stalk, Miss Ghost of Mega Christmas Baz? Stalk? Oh right, I'm a ghost. Uh that guy, yeah. Which employee did you leave without a Mega Christmas kill? <laughs> Chill please. Would have been funny if you reacted to that. Sorry, kid, I'm not in the mood to humor you today unless you have some sort of ID. Now in a year or so, I'd gladly serve you a drink. Until then, this is no place for you. I already got a drink. Yeah, it's got no booze. It's got no booze. You got punked. No booze in your drink. Well, didn't expect me to really give you a drink, right? Uh, so if you would please leave. Can't leave, not after trying so hard to even get here. Start from the beginning, Miss Norma. How do you know my name? It was on your ID, right? Would have been a fake ID. I don't think you're stupid enough to make a fake ID that doesn't put you at 18 at the very least. <laughs> but true enough, if you've bought a fake ID that's below, let's say, 21, you just got taken for a ride. Very sharp? I wouldn't call that sharp. I would call that common sense for anybody over the legal drinking age. You look like a nice girl, Norma. Why come to a bar like this? Duh, bleh. Seem like you're in a bad mood, Miss Bartender. Nah, it's just like all that all the time. Hey, Gil! Careful with the fucking sass! I'll make you go clean the bathroom again, you little shit. Sorry if I've been harsh. The last couple days have been heavy. And having someone underage here reminds me of a certain incident from last week. Like the dogs. <laughs> well, don't change the subject, young lady. Why'd you come here? Why do you care? I can do whatever I want. Yeah, I suppose you can. Unless it's illegal, in which case anyone can, should, and probably will stop you. Hey, Sam, how you doing? Good to see you. And yes, thank you for telling Gil to shut up. He needs to go clean the bathrooms again so he doesn't give, him, give us any more back chat. Just, just wanted to be more wild, you know? Wild by coming to a bar when you're underage? Ooh. <clears> There's <throat> way too many expectations on my shoulders. It's always been out to make sure I don't disappoint her. It's never enough. It's not enough to have good grades. Yeah, I hear you, honey. Also wants me to go out and take a college prep course. And I'm tired. I don't want to do things for her anymore. <laughs> You came to a bar. Maybe if I came back home smelling like alcohol, she would leave me alone. No, no, that's not, no, that's not how that shit works. Norma, please. What? Dinner, you're saying I need bartender tips? Come on, man. I think I serve drinks pretty well. I'm not good enough for her, I might as well kill any hope she has for me. Yeah, I guess that's true. Start slamming shots. <laughs> that is super bad advice. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not gonna listen to that. Oh, okay, I have a friend who is also being pressured by a mother. Really? Yeah, but in her case, it's being pressured to settle down and form a family. Let me get this straight. You came here to make your mother disappointed. <laughs> yes. You like alcohol. Actually, I think it's nasty. Then what the f- why would you do that? 
Ooh, uh, why would you be in a bar if you think alcohol is nasty? And you're doing things wrong. Exactly. Thank you, Jill. You and I see eye to eye on this. If you're gonna disappoint your mom, at least do it with something you like. <laughs> That's good advice. That's real fine advice right there. Like, become a belly dancer. <clears throat> Excuse me. Like, become a belly dancer because you want to be a belly dancer. Otherwise, you're just trying to hurt her for the sake of hurting her. Let's start with something. What do you like doing? I don't know. Well, uh, typical teenager. <clears throat> Ooh, I like this song. I'm so focused on trying to be good enough that I haven't been able to think about what I want to do. Don't you think you should start there? Yeah? Well, good is doing something just for the sake of hurting someone. That's, yeah, it's kind of a shitty way to go about it. If he gets disappointed in you over something you like doing, you have the right to protest. But if you're hurting her by hurting yourself over something you don't enjoy, it sounds silly. Yeah, sure does. Go home. Do some self-discovery before hurting your mom, would you? Or at the very least, humor her until you're old enough to move out. <laughs> also good advice. Yeah, you're right. Thanks, Miss Bartender. You're wel you're welcome. You're welcome, and don't ask for an alcoholic drink until you're at least 18, honey. Careful out there. Yeah, and you did humor her for a bit. Shut up. Shut up, Gil! Oh, a doggy. Oh, little girl. Ah, shit. <laughs> G and J, how you doing? Jeez, come on, Red Sheba, we've got names. Please use them. No, I didn't miss you, you dumb dog. You're too early. <laughs> oh, I can see you here. Boss, will he be any good around here? What did he do last time? Like he didn't do shit. And yes, I know you're right there, Red Sheba. Fucking spent lots of time training him. Why do you think he didn't show up last week? Is how the hell would I know you'd bring a part-timer dog? Here, let me show you. Sit. Sir, yes, sir. <laughs> Roll. Sir, yes, sir. Pause. Sir, yes, sir. Training. Of course. He's only shouting sir, yes, sir, and not doing anything else, though. Never said I did a perfect job. <laughs> oh. Is that a motorcycle? Oh, shit. Oh, what the hell? I don't know. What the? What? What just happened there? The Andy's just a dog. Whoa! Hey! Whoa! This uh, this person looks a little young to be in a bar too. Bathroom. Oh, sorry. It's only for clients. Uh, <laughs> this, you gotta order a drink first, man. I promise me you'll buy something afterwards. It's that door over there. Who the hell are you? The other one. Ugh. Get out of my desk. The world's ending. It's just a motorcycle. The four riders and the four riders of the apocalypse, right? The four the four motorcycle men of the of the apocalypse, right? And a horseman and it already stopped, did it? Did it really? We didn't get any audio cues about it, but whatever. Alright, well he looks a little bit happier now that he's not bursting his bladder, I suppose. Need to buy something now, right? Yeah, damn right you do. Order something. Need to rest anyways. What can I get you? Piano woman would be nice. Uh. You know what? No, you're getting a piano woman. First thing you said, you little shit. First thing you said, you are getting a piano woman, my friend. Don't mutter it under your breath if you don't want it to be heard. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Aged and mixed. Shika, 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 bam! There you go! You, you wanted a piano woman, alright, buddy? Here! Yeah, fuck you. I knew you were gonna be happy with that. Yeah. <laughs> the motorcycle out there, they're yours, Mr. Mario. Ha, <clears> da 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 Sorry for the noise. Oh, don't worry. It's not like you stayed outside too long or anything. So what do you work as, Mario? <laughs> Live to paint the roads black with my wheels, leaving the trail of my engine sounds wherever I go. Oh, you're one of those motorcycle people. Alright, whatever. I'm a rebel. Fuck the red lights. Fuck the speed limits. Fuck the helmet laws. Uh, a helmet would be a good idea though, buddy. I mean, please. Please be safe out there. Those are mine and mine only. I am yeah, I'm going outside with the dog while advertise the bar. Yeah, you do that. 
Hello, doggy. Hello, shady guy. Sh -sh shady. What? <laughs> we'll be back before long. Don't worry. All right. Careful. Who is she? Oh, she's my boss. She was cute. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Don't you be making eyes at my boss. All right. I saw her first. Uh, no, you're not cute. It's not like I'm into girls either. Really? Uh huh. These are <laughs> all right, dude. Stop digging yourself a hole. Just drink your piano, woman. And be cool, okay? Please. So where do you work? Told you, I'm a rebel. I rebels can't maintain those bikes for too long. What's your day job? That's right. Everybody needs a source of income to do the shit that they want to do. That's the unfortunate truth of this world. I'm a delivery boy. Oh, wah wah. <laughs> wah wah. Really appropriate. What do you deliver? From a courier company, so it's kind of like mail, I guess. Always around the city, and I know it like the palm of my hand. Or I might not remember every building, or I remember every intersection and every street. Alright, well, at least you take some pride in your work. That's good. Still can't take detours without feeling totally lost. Yeah, you and me both, Jill. I've got a not great sense of direction. By guiding yourself with the help of landmarks. Around here, the Saber Station's antenna is a good reference. Or, I mean, well, what do I care? <laughs> Fix yourself, you bitch. Hey, Mario, don't be giving me no sass. Guess a moon blast would be nice. Yeah, gut punch. Yeah, that one. Okay, moon blast. Dude, again, don't be saying shit under your, under your breath if you don't want it heard. I'll even be nice and make it a double. Okay. 1, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 12, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, rocks and blended. Shaka, 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 shaka. Alright, blended. Here's your moon blast. This is good. Yeah, of course. This is what did you fucking ask for, you idiot? It's a moon blast. I. No, never mind. Why do you try so hard to keep up that tough guy image? Yeah, exactly. What's the deal? It isn't working? Will you say the f- <laughs> Oh, what a shit. What a shit. I mean, he's alright and all. Like, props for trying, but he's not fooling anybody. You really- it's not working here, Mario. No, it's not. <clears throat> After that, you just kind of looked cute. <laughs> oh, you looked kawaii. Desu kawaii. <laughs> so why do it? Bikers are supposed to be scary, right? No, only douchebag bikers are supposed to be scary. Rebels that cause trouble and ride free from society's ties. We applied that brand of logic here. I should be wearing one third of my clothes and lighting drinks on fire. Well, we could, we could light some drinks on fire just for the hell of it. You can do whatever you want and dress however you want. It's just that you look like you're trying so hard. Lol. Trying too hard. Too hard, my friend. Like, you don't really enjoy that. It's not a lie. Yes, it is. Don't fucking, don't fucking try to lie yourself out with another lie. All right? He says you can't dress as a biker and still be a nice kid. That's right, Jill knows what's going on here. <clears throat> yeah, but other bikers... That sounded like someone, something someone in high school would say. Huh, I didn't ask for his ID. I probably should have asked for his ID. Just advice. Don't take it too personally. No, you're right. Don't have to be that way. Unless you want to. I ain't stopping you there. Yeah, but I don't. It's tiring and I don't feel good. Yeah, see? Be true to yourselves. It sounds like the corniest ass advice you could ever give, but be true. Be true. It doesn't fucking matter what you want to do, who you want to be. Just be true to it, alright? <clears throat> if you want, you can try to stay quiet. You were pretty intimidating when you did that. Will you have another drink, or did you have too many already? I can handle another one. Keep me a fringe weaver. Alright. That's the only thing he wanted. He didn't say something stupid under his breath at first. Oh. Hmm. Alright, he wants to be a big tough guy, huh? He wants to be a big old tough guy. Let's see if big old tough guy can handle his booze. Shake a 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 bam. There you go, buddy. 
We'll see what you got. Yep, that's the one. Thanks. <laughs> hey, that guy over there. What, who, John? Oh, I mean, Gil? <laughs> you dating him? No. No, why would you? Is he seeing anyone? As far as I know. You think he, uh, just go ask him yourself, you shit. Don't make me the middle woman here. Mario, come on. You want to try to be a big tough guy. Now you're going to try to be true to yourself. Now you're going to try to make me into the middle woman here. No, go ask him. Bitch. No, never mind. I said nothing. Oh, come on, man. After that good little advice sesh we just had. Go ask him, man. Thank you for everything. All right, fine. Coward out, I guess. Whatever. Ah, <laughs> uh, Gil, you are freaking fuck boy. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Nothing. Forget it. We're just gonna take a break. <laughs> oh goodness. This game. This game is really good. I love it. Fucking love it. Burp, burp. Oh dear. Oh dear, I hope everybody's having a good time. I'm having a good time. Hope we can all have a good time tonight. <clears throat> because it is Friday night. I love me some Friday nights, right? Billy didn't smell like poo today. That's a new one. I guess uh, Billy is the name of one of the... Con the, uh, the, um... Fuck, what are they called? The vending machines. There we go. Alright. Okay, so let's just, uh, bam, boom, bam, boom, up, 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 uh, sure, let's put that one back in there, B -b bam, oh, whoa, no, that's a double, we ain't doing that, throw snowfall in there, oh, yeah, I guess it is Saturday morning for you there, dinner, I always, time is a weird thing, you know, always forget, always forget, well, don't, like, don't stay up just for, just for the sake of watching me, I hope you at least got some sleep, that would be better. That'd be better. Uh, digital drive we'll throw in there and yeah, meet the staff, why not? Bam, let's go. That's too good of a song not to always have that as number one. Oh, fuck the dogs back here. That's so just the government's way to cover up JFK's assassination. Oh my goodness. If ever there was a conspiracy theory, that would be one of them. I'd tell them to go to the Red Sheba bar to get their attention, lol. Anyways, back to my office. You stay here. Oh, why does the dog have to stay here? Fine. <laughs> ba -da -bum -ba -da -ba -bum -ba -bum. Or opens the crowd and goes wild and say, ah, dog. Ah, oh, Dorothy's back! Yay, Dorothy, how you doing? Hey, don't insult Dorothy, all right, Red Sheba? She's nice. She's nice and cute. Honey, some help here. Go away, Red Sheba. Dorothy's here, please. Heard cats in the alley. Really? Check them out. Yeah, there we go. We got it. Dorothy, no problem. We got you covered. <clears throat> I make it too obvious? Why, though? I don't know. Oh, hey, John. <laughs> Or Gil, or Robert, or whoever the fuck we're calling him today. I think it's because I just got that trade at random. When AIs are created, they're given fears or tastes completely at random. That seems like a bad idea, let's be honest here. I just happened to get stuck with a fear of dogs and chinchillas. That's a very odd set of fears. <clears throat> chinchillas are extinct. What?! In the year of our lord, 2070X, chinchillas are extinct?! Oh, that sucks. They're actually kind of cute. <laughs> Thank God. Well, what, what are you having? What are you having, Dorothy? It's that time of the month, so I'll have a bleeding jean. Oh, please. <laughs> uh, alright. In honor of her time of the month. <laughs> alright, well, I like, I like Dorothy, so she's getting the big old bleeding jean. One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <clears throat> All blenderinoed. Shake a 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 shake a. All right, stop. There we go. There you go. One big old bleeding Jane. Ah, there we go. Let's just be real direct about it. Time of the month. A little menstruate. 
Yes, oil. Eh, okay. <laughs> Fair. No, silly, we don't. Then why? There are a few maintenance things we have to do every month, but those are a different story. Okay, alright, fair, 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 fair. But what time of the month is it? It's my maintenance month! Oh, the time when I feel like drinking a bleeding jade. <laughs> okay. Cheers, Dorothy. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, that's good shit. <clears throat> <laughs> Oz business. Be surprised by how many people get struck by holiday depression and need some Dorothy in their lives. <laughs> I wouldn't really be that surprised, Dorothy, let's be honest. Also the season with the most competition. Whoa, hey. No you had competition. Of course. Both humans and Lilim, half of them got a sexy Santa dress, and that's not fair. Aw. Well why don't you go buy a sexy Santa dress there, Dorothy? They were sold out. Oh, okay. She tried. <laughs> she really tried. Maybe it's better that way. Yeah, that's right. You can be the only non-Santa sexy android AI thing, I guess. <clears throat> Other girls like to dress in skimpy clothes and show lots of skin. That scares off lots of people. I learned that the best way to maintain regulars is to just dress normally. Is that true? That seems like it would be a true thing, right? Really? If I dress normally, they can just pretend I'm some acquaintance. No need to hide me until reaching the room. Ha <laughs> ha. Eh, true enough. Some even invite me to a dinner or a movie before anything else. Oh, that's classy. That's real classy. Well, I must say it's a bit hard to get the clients in the first place. They can't tell what I do at, at a glance. The first time they see me after a call, they think I'm just making a prank or something. <clears throat> Which reminds me, do you serve only humans or do you serve Lilim too? Really? Huh. Humans only do have, a, have an at least 40% organic policy, and probably at least organic in the right places, right? I prefer to treat my prostitutes classy. Uh, as far as I know, prostitution is illegal everywhere except Vegas, but, you know, that's me not really knowing about it too much, so whatever. 40%? Human from the neck up? Dick's preferably organic, but I can make exceptions? Alright, well that was next on my mind, my mind there, Dorothy, so good on you for answering. Females are not so strict, though. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Why, do you know someone that might be interested? No, just mere curiosity. Yeah, right. Curiosity. Sure, Jilly. You're not, you're not uh, fooling anybody. Well, your curiosity left me thirsty. Get me a blue fairy. A big one. Sure thing. A big blue fairy for the small pink-haired pixie. <laughs> Oh goodness. Alright, blue fairy. Blue fairy. Big ol' blue fairy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, and optional karma tree. And well, I like Dorothy, so she's getting a little something extra. One, two, three, four, five, six. Aged and mixerude. Shika, 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 shika. Bam! Blue fairy. Wonder if anyone has seen fairies after a couple of these. Some guy tasted that by drinking as many as he could. Or tested, excuse me, tested. He thought he saw one, but he was dizzy and what he'd seen was his puke. <laughs> Lol. You know, earlier today there's a mega Christmas spirit around here. Then I'm realizing I made a fuss about serving a drinks to someone underage, but here I am. Nothing in particular, just a funny story. A funny story myself, it's the mega Santa prank. Alright. You know, Mega Christmas sounds much better than uh, normal Christmas. We should adopt that in the year of our Lord 2017. The what? Eh, it's a prank I pull every year. First, I pick a, pick a mall, wait for a day with lots of people. I go to Santa's lap. When he asks what I want, I say in the most innocent tone I can muster, I want you to make me a woman. Oh, dear Lord. That's, that's a prank? Sounds like par for the course for you, Dorothy. <clears throat> Sometimes they try to cover it up the Lilim wants to be human. It's then when I say, no, I want you. <laughs> after, what I, after that I say, well, at the very least I want a dildo, a big pink one, or a very bumpy cucumber. <laughs> okay, that's Dorothy par for the course right there. I spice it up. Instead of cucumbers, I ask for a pony and a crane to lift it. 
Once thought about screaming help and being molested. Oh my goodness. I remembered it was a prank. I didn't want to ruin the guy's life. Yeah, please don't do that. Please don't ruin Mall Santa's lives. I mean, they've got a shit job to begin with. Their lives are already ruined, right? Oh, I did get a client that way. He became a regular soon after. <laughs> oh yeah, they're three years and they still don't get that. It's always me. <clears throat> Old enough for anything you want. Oh, Dorothy. Dorothy, you tease. Numbers. I need numbers. <laughs> you really asking a girl her age that way? Okay, tell me your age first. What, what, how old is Jill? Like 20, 27, right? Yes! I remembered. <laughs> I don't know how I remembered. I don't know when it was actually mentioned, but... Booyah Kisha, 27. I didn't get fidgety or anything like that. Well, why would I get fidgety? Oh, she's making her cute pouty face again. Can't stand it. I'll tell you. Model's designed to look between 10 to 30. Whoa. Whoa, really? Uh. Uh. Uh, okay. At least my last checkup said my mental age was 24. How long has he been deployed? That's a secret I'll keep with me. <laughs> Tilda. The most flirtiest of characters, the Tilda. <coughs> ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. Fair enough. Expect you to get all uncomfortable talking about your age, though. Why didn't you? Well, what's wrong with being 27? What's wrong with being 29? For the, for the better question. <laughs> How dangerous everything's been lately. Every year you get matters, I suppose. No, it isn't a curse, it's an achievement, I guess. I mean, you know, nobody gets out alive in the game of life, right? I should make a shirt with that, because if you don't, I will. <laughs> wait, wait, what was it? With how dangerous everything's been lately, you, every year you get matters. All right, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. You want anything else? Let's see. Cobalt Velvet, it's been a while since I've tried one of those. All right, how's that? Why is that weird? Ah, fuck it. I guess we'll find out soon. Because I like you, Dorothy, you're getting a big one. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six. On the rocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Didn't she already say that um, Lilim can't get drunk? Is that a thing I remember correctly? Uh, mixed. Shika, 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 shika. Cobalt Velvet, here you go. <clears throat> you like it? I don't dislike it. I guess I'm not mature enough for these drinks. <laughs> it's like, what does it matter? It's a made up drink. Whoa, geez. Uh, uh, maybe I made that too strong for her. <laughs> you ever seen a Mega Santa gangbang? Uh, should I answer this one? <clears throat> I'm like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that Mega Santa that became a regular of mine. He once invited like 80 of his friends. Holy shit! Wow! Uh, Dorothy, please. These things are funny because with that many guys, no one knows what to do. <laughs> they think about using you too, but they don't want to touch the other guy. <laughs> This game is very forward about a lot of stuff, and I like it. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Fuck, this game is great. I love it. Is that true in my experience? <laughs> I'll never tell. <laughs> I don't want to touch the other guys. I guess that's true enough. <clears throat> well, you should have thought about that before getting naked in front of other guys. <laughs> that's also true. Oh my god. <laughs> Dorothy, why are you quickly becoming my favorite? <laughs> hey guys, and in the end, only two got into it while the others left. Oh, come on. You got to be fucking strong and confident with your manhood. Even my regular left. Well, he's not a very good regular then, is he? <clears throat> Regret asking this, but were all the other guys... Yep, they were Mega Santas that worked with him. 
course they were. <laughs> Otherwise, it wouldn't be a Mega Santa King thing. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why is this game so good? Why is it so good? <laughs> oh, excuse me. I don't many, but I still don't get the charm of gangbangs. Orgies I can see, though. Well, either remembering that got me turned on, or the alcohol was kicking in. <laughs> I thought Lilum couldn't get drunk, that's why I gave you a double of whatever it was that you ordered. Either way, I'm leaving. Bye, honey. Oh, Dorothy, you couldn't hang around for a little bit more? That was fucking hilarious. I love it. <clears throat> that girl has seen some shit. I can't see the Mega Santas with the same eyes. Oh no. Why didn't you tell her you missed her yesterday? Forgot about it. She, I didn't find any cats. Oh, uh, that's fine. Just keep looking. I swear they're out there, Red Sheba. Don't you worry. Why not look again? <laughs> see you later, shitlord. Whoa, whoa, Jesus. Uh, can I see some ID there, please? Yeah, popular at some middle school, that would be a hassle. Gods, maybe all is right. Well, what, though? The other day I was asking her her opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing. Or the whole massive transmission. And at some point she talked about hacking, becoming a fad, and said, And if suddenly a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. Well, we've already had one. <clears throat> Today there have been two kids already. Yeah. You know, would bartending become a fad? Maybe a cartoon? Lol. Kids' cartoons don't show any alcohol. Do they not? I guess I don't remember any kids' cartoons having alcohol in them, so I guess that's right. True. Uh, you wanna you wanna say something like order a drink or show me your ID here, honey? Come on. You gotta give me something to deal with here. There's no place for kids, so you should. Um. I feel like she's staring too much, and she's saying nothing. Exactly. Please. Nothing inappropriate aside from alcohol, but alcohol is everywhere anyways, eh? Yeah? bill has got a point! <clears throat> so what do you suggest? Better be, maybe she's just curious about the bar. She's not saying anything, though! Alright, dinner. See you later. Hope you come back. But if you don't, Vod will always be there for you, true enough. If she's curious and shy. Well, she doesn't look shy with what with the very severe expression on her face. Who to speak about people you have in front of you like they can't hear you? Well, she's not saying anything! She's been there for like two minutes and she hasn't said a gosh dang word. <clears throat> ah! The hell did I startle you? What do you want? Help me out here with a beer? Right, a beer for Gil. Haven't I seen that girl before? Have have we seen that girl before? I don't think we've seen that girl before. Alright, uh, Gil, I'm guessing you can handle your shit, so... Uh, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mixerude. Shaka, 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 shaka. Here, have your fancy-ass future beer. <clears throat> Lower your guard a bit, please. Oh yeah, before I forget. Disposal unit comes on Sunday. Do you have any expired ingredients on your side? Uh, maybe. Bottle of Carmatrine that's like a month past expiration. Well, chug that shit! Don't let it go to the waste! Hey, miss. Yes? Are you happy? What, what kind of question is that? <clears throat> that's a really weird question, let's be honest. Am I out of drink here? Now I am. We'll have to take a quick break -a here soon. Not sad, I guess, but I'm not jubilant, but... Are you happy with your life, with your choices? What kind of question is that? Jeez. Yeah, that's a fucking deep-ass question, for sure. <clears throat> it might have one or two regrets, but I guess it could be worse. Yeah, true enough, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, don't we all? Well, she looks pretty young, so maybe she hasn't, uh, yet accumulated regrets. Ah! <laughs> Gil, stop startling us here. What did you want? Didn't you borrow the screwdriver the other day? I did, why? 
I have to take the coins from the arcades in the corner last week, so I needed to take them out. Here, have a fucking screwdriver, Gil, and stop fucking startling us, alright? Please. They throw it in somebody's face while escaping, lol. Only happened once and the, and the old lady started it. <laughs> oh, Gil. Why doesn't arcade still use coins nowadays or physical money when you get down to it? Ah, it's a nostalgia thing. Very tactical feel to it. Tactile, not tactical, tactile. For the reason the cards to arcade still exist. Nostalgia, yeah, there we go, we called it. We kasha, we called it. Hey, miss, yeah? What do you want? You recognize me? Uh, should I? Are you on the news? No? <clears throat> well, apparently there's also a new channel that I missed before. And apparently it's 9 o'clock. I want to say PM, but I have no idea. Can't remember your own sister's face. What? My sister? Not even a sister-in-law? <clears throat> oh, okay. Apparently we re remembered Gabby, huh? How long has it been? And why the hell is she in the bar? Jesus. Good, we got some super kick-ass music to go with meeting our sister-in-law again, I guess. Actually, my ex's sister, okay. <clears throat> so they had to transfer schools and I managed to skip a grade thanks to the admission tests. Ah, she's a smart one, huh? Out of middle school next year. Well, do you want, like, something to drink? Like a non-alcoholic or, like, a kitty cocktail or something like that? Or whatever the equivalent is in the year of our Lord 2070X? Thought about what you want to study in college? You always said you wanted to be a scientist. I don't know yet, but I guess I still have a couple years to think about it. <clears throat> Maybe you'll need a sabbatical year. Trust me, kid, do not take a sabbatical year. If you take a sabbatical year, you probably won't want to go back to school afterwards. Oh, how's Lenore? Wait, who's Lenore? She's my ex, you shit! Yeah, exactly. If they had a relationship with something that's not a cat, color me surprised. Gil, you're getting real mouthy! And you know what happens to people who get real mouthy? They go get to clean the bathroom. Yeah, exactly. She's dead. Oh! Oh, well that took a fucking turn. Sister's dead, Jill. She died last Saturday. I came all the way to tell you the news. Oh, jeez! You have to suffer a disease alone while you're all merry here and mixing drinks and chatting. Wait, what? Localized nanomachine rejection. It gave her a heart attack. Wow, that's fucking dark as hell! I started complaining about chest pains not, after you long, not long after you left. She was all the talk about getting your freedom worth it, Jill? You're right to be married, worth the life of my sister- Well, I didn't fucking know! Hey, don't put this shit on me, Gabby! You keep lashing out at me like that. Did I infect her with the disease that killed her? No, but it's too much of a coincidence that she started getting worse and worse right after you left. It's not a coincidence. That's fucking... Ugh. Wow, alright. Way to fucking kill all the merriness in the room here, Gabby. Jeez. Got visibly sick after your fight. It'd be no surprise if that fight played a key role in killing her. Well, stress, I suppose, but don't put that shit on me. Hey, she can't expect all that because you wanted freedom? Well, let's... Alright, so first of all, who broke up with whom here? And freedom is so enticing it makes you hurt a nice three-year-old relationship. Is this freedom so important you cut all contact with us? Was this freedom so good you left everything behind? Jesus Christ. Freedom worth the life of my... <clears throat> Shut up. Wow, this is getting very confrontational. Didn't kill your sister for fuck's sake. It's not like I infected her with that nanomachine rejection. Hell, this is the first time I've even heard she was sick. Do you really know what kind of fear drove me to have that argument with your sister? Do you even understand the fear of feeling your youth slip through your fingers? Uh, I know that fear. I think it was all easy for me. I was scared. I'm still scared. I need to grab a hold of my life, but it has nothing to do with your sister. I love her. You think that fight didn't hurt me? Jesus Christ, this got real heavy suddenly. Like, really heavy. Baka. Thanks, Gil. Uh, can I take my break now? Or no, is that the end of the day? Jeez. My goodness.
All right, we're in another the talkie section, I guess. Hey, Jillian, want to grab something to eat? Not really. <laughs> after all that shit, jeez, who could eat after that? Can I come in, keep you company? Fine, I just need to be alone for a bit. Oh, boss, I appreciate that, but that was some heavy garbage that, uh, that's what happened. It's, it's not okay, yeah, it's... Ah, oh, jeez, no, why does this have feels in it, too? Oh, damn it. I didn't know anything about it, just came to deliver the news, she had nothing but animosity, and not only that, it lashed out at her. <coughs> History repeats itself, it sure does. Ah, fuck. No, why Why isn't this just a game about bartending? God damn it. I wasn't such a selfish little shit. Uh. Maybe she'd still be alive, please. That's what, that's what we're all thinking, come on. Damn it. Ah, I just came here, to, I just wanted to serve some drinks, all right? And yell at people that were being D-bags. Jesus. Any weird thoughts come to you? You feel anxious? Call me. Oh, boss is way too nice. Why? Why? Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh, why is it so feelsy suddenly? Gosh damn it. Oh. Goodness me. Well, at least we got paid, I guess. Ah, that was something. Smiled a bit at the cutesy poster. All right, well, that's something, I guess. Well, shit, I need to go make another drink, so we're gonna take a, a quickie break here. back with a fresh drink <clears throat> which I think we're gonna need after what happened there goodness that took a fucking that took a deep turn so we're just gonna take a couple minutes to kind of gather ourselves here I will say that the whole reason I got into streaming and this is going back a little bit I guess the whole reason I got into streaming was to deal with emotional stuff. <clears throat> like stuff that was going on at the time and then it kind of came to a head and not great things happened afterwards. So anytime like really emotional stuff comes up in games, it's like it does kind of harken back to that a bit. So you know, deal with it the best you can, I suppose. But I won't ever, like, hide my reactions to shit. Because it's important to be true to what you feel and true to how you deal with it. I mean, even if it's in front of others or alone or whatever, it doesn't matter. Whew. 
Jesus. That's dumb. No, it's not dumb. It's just kind of hard to deal with sometimes. <clears throat> you put your dog down today, Sam? Oh, I'm sorry. God damn. You know, well, I guess while we're Aaron Fields, right? Just get it all out there. Fuck. <laughs> that took a turn. My goodness. Let's just take a couple minutes, I guess, and kind of work it out. Being sincere in my stream. That's right. I mean, that's probably the the only thing I have to me is uh, is who I am. So you know, being honest with that stuff and kind of being transparent about it is is important to me. Like, and I hope it's important to a lot of people. But <clears throat> sometimes you see, you know, streamers or anybody in any sort of public place, like public view or whatever, putting on fronts for shit to to make it work for them or whatever, and that's, you know, more power to them for for doing that, if that's what they need to do, but for me, it's never going to be about that. For me, it's always going to be about, you know, being who I am. And, uh, <clears throat> and part of that, sometimes, uh, bad shit comes with that, you know? Just go with it. Just gotta go with it, just gotta deal with it, work through it however you want, however you need to. Hmm. <clears throat> So whatever. That's how it goes sometimes. <sighs> All right, let's get back to this here. Maybe some, maybe there's some bullshit in this big old rag that can kind of bring us back here. Kiramiki, I hope she comes back. Encore concert. And blah blah blah. So I was I brought Kiramiki in for a huge party. All thanks to the Nomsen. Blah blah blah. Second concert. Oh, maybe she'll slip away and come visit our bar. That'd be real nice. Ticket Lord and Idol Hell. <laughs> oh boy. Those sound like uh, actual legit things that could exist. <clears throat> things that disappear in a matter of minutes. Uh, probably from scalpers and shit like that. New act and proposes increased surveillance. Oh boy, if that isn't true to life. Man, our machine's tracking people 24-7. However, due to the violent protests that have taken place recently, now proposing a new law that will allow the government to shut down anyone with nanomachines in their body using a pulse signal. Ugh, excuse me. That's some twisted-ass shit. My goodness. I mean, people died during the protests, and that could have been avoided. We had more control over the masses. No, that's fucking garbage. That is garbage. That is not fucking true. Fuck you, Quincy. What is shit. Technology is simply shut down lawbreakers. It's a non-lethal way to end any kind of conflict. It's common sense to use it at this point. No, it fucking isn't. God, what a shit. I hate that garbage. It's so dumb. <clears throat> 66 American Kid Return challenges Giant Yusuke to a title match. Ever since Giant Yusuke won the GSF belt, he's not, nothing but negative responses from fans. Challenger after Challenger is tired to take the title. Blah, 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 blah. It'll become the champion in GSF Serves, blah 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 during a promotion for blah 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 blah. Okay, so kinda kinda trivial garbage going on after what we just kinda went through here. <sighs> oh boy. So this is this is alright, so EKDV 186 is a firearm of some sort. And 2chan kinda losing their shit over it seems kind of a little on the nose. Greatest thing to ever grace the planet Earth uh, the high quality release, but why is the camo blurry? I think it's a regulation for the civilian models. All over this normally, I can't seem to get excited, blah 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 blah. That's what happens when you consume way too much fucking military equipment and weapons. Oh shit. Jeez. This is getting really super real. <clears throat> so they were gonna announce more stuff on a later date. Lol. Alright, then the rest is just kinda stuff we've read before. Okay. Let's save. <laughs> so we don't have to go through that again. All right, we didn't need to uh, get anything, right? She was doing okay just on her own, but maybe we should get something anyways. Just to make sure that Jill's doing okay. Is there something cheap though? Because <laughs> I think we're one day before bills are coming due, so we gotta be all right. 
Hey, G.I. Jones, how you doing? Good to see you. You're the last piece of the most over-engineered thing you've ever built. <laughs> Let's see what we can get. Paper Lantern seems... Seems pretty cheap, 500 bucks. Let's get that. Bam. We, we bought a little something something to hopefully cheer us up. There we go, there's that Paper Lantern right there. Oh man, that is some deep shit we just went through, wasn't it? Let's uh, let's hope that this next day at work is a little bit better. Because my goodness, dumping all that on us right there was, uh... Dang it. Now we're invested. <laughs> now we're fucking invested. Okay, let's go to work. We'll get the Miku poster at some time, Sam, don't you worry. <clears throat> Evening. Okay, feel like shit. Well, what do, what, do, what do you expect to happen after all that? Ba -ba 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 -ba. He shouldn't have come then? You're all, in all the right to stay at home. I have to come. Threw away everything I had in my life to be here. People I loved are pushed aside just so I can enjoy my freedom of being here. Oh, God. And it's already still deep. Stupid, stupid freedom. I'll come here until I die, even after the bar closes until my hair falls out. Eyes look red and swollen, yeah? Well, your hair is hairy. Good comeback, Jill. <laughs> Real good comeback. Who was the dipshit that changed the order of the glasses? It was me. I was the one washing dishes yesterday, remember? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Too busy staring at my crumbling life and all that. Oh, no, come on. Let's try to kick this into a more happy gear here. Home rest a bit. My girlfriend, ex-girlfriend died and I wasn't there to see her one last time. All because of a fight I spent all these years regretting and wishing to, but never actually apologizing for. Oh dear. Decision to assert my freedom and grab a hold of my life led me to this. Our tender strapped for cash that distanced herself from her loved ones for no other reason than selfishness. Well, I take a little bit of issue with that, but we're not going to get into that right now. <clears throat> I won't fucking leave. I threw all that to be here, so I won't. Here I will stay. This is what I wanted, this is what I left all- This is why I left all of that behind, this is why... I'm starting to sound like a broken record. I'll leave her be, I'd rather have her here than be alone in her apartment. Uh, uh, probably a good idea. Feeling Jill. Like shit? Like a shit-eating piece of shit. <laughs> shit squared. Most of any possible life form you might find. You know, nanobs look down to me in disgust knowing they're far superior. Spirited, that's good. Where's the mutt? Working with Syra. Yeah, good. At Syra. <clears throat> I know what I said. In any case, let Jill process her anger. It's perfectly normal to feel that way. That's right. Don't just let people feel what they're going to feel. I found that's kind of the best way to work through it. Feel what you're going to feel. And don't, don't feel bad about that either. <clears throat> Here she's surrounded by people that care about her. Aw, boss, you're way too kind. A lot better than leaving her to fend for herself. I mean, as smart as Fori might be, he's still just a cat. <clears throat> Why not have Jill stay, but not serve anyone today? No, I need the money. Fuck you, Gil. I need the money. What do we do if she lashes out at a client? That's why you're here, Gil. You <laughs> Jillian Pilskin. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Is that a reference to fucking uh, Metal Gear Solid there? I think it is. I think it is. There we go. Let's let's bring it back on the happy track here. You break her hug, just tell me. Oh my god. Boss is so good. <laughs> like why is she no why is she so nice? Alright. Let's uh Let's get some happy music up in here. I I feel like we need a little distraction. Uh we're in nighttime maneuvers. What do, what do we got here? Commencing simulation, I think, is pretty happy. Everything will be okay. Is that going to be like a sad sack song or. Kind of sad, yeah. All right. <clears throat> Neo Avatar, how about this one? Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit bumping. We like that. How about Sinestich? Nah. 
about Dawn approaches. Uh, renewed hope. Yeah, there we go. That's that's a little bit more bumping. All right. Yeah, I already put on music. Fuck you, Gil. I'm gonna put on the music I like. As much as I enjoy watching two people beat the shit out of each other, can we get something better up there? Yeah, there we go. Gonna be an interesting day. Shut up, Gil. What an ass. All of heroes keep shining, brimming with the... I smell tacos? Wait, it's outside. Never mind. Oh, hell no. Oh, who is this? This better not be J. Jonah Jameson douchebag. Oh, no, it's the other dude. This guy. Ugh. Why? 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 Virgilio, what can I get you? Luminous pollution on the streets make it seem almost like a starry sky. Oh boy, that's really fucking uplifting. It's really fucking polluted out there. What do you want to drink, you shitlord? I'm pretty sure an octopus isn't a fish. God, what a dick. You want something octopus-like. You to order like a decent human being? Yes, Jill, taking no shit today! <laughs> Come on. Not following. Me Use an actual drink name, you shit. Tell us your order like you're a human who is not in need of medical help. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Jill bringing the heat. Bringing the heat. Sparkle Star. Okay. Thank you. Sparkle Star for the... <laughs> Thank you. Not dealing with that garbage today. Ugh. Alright. I feel kind of bad for yelling at him, so I'll make it a double just because. Uh, four, two, and optional karma train. Alright, I'll give him four, I suppose. Aged and mixerood. Shika, 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 bam! Here. Have your fucking sparkle star. Was it that hard? Yeah. You tried the spell under pressure? Yes, I have. Been to my share of spelling bees. Thank you, Virgilio. You little shit. Angry spelling bartender. <laughs> Having that time of the month or something. Dude, don't you fucking dare, alright? For Helio, I will toss you out straight out on your asshole, alright? Filled with ridiculous amounts of anger, pain, and self-hate. And on second thought, you're not that far from the truth, I guess. <laughs> For Helio, you don't want to mess with me, okay? Just fucking step off, alright, bro? Ugh, God damn it. I don't like this person. I really don't. I really do not like this person. I got over my resonance and moved on to this enlightenment. What a shit. Here I was thinking to get to say something serious for once. Yeah, right. You are not serious. You got a fucking question mark on your forehead. And you come in here asking for drinks with riddles. Fuck you, Virgilio. Jesus, this dude. Glare immune, yeah, right. Allow me to give you a sincere piece of advice. Oh yeah, go ahead. I'm sure it's really good advice. You can kick yourself so much. That actually is good advice. All right, fair enough. <clears throat> Keep it up. Any chance of finally forgiving yourself will someday be gone. Self-hate will leave you with a hole that will never heal. Ah, uh, Helio! Why are you? Why are you right? Fuck you! Why are you right? Exactly. It sounded half sensible. Thinking you were just a pompous lunatic. <laughs> hey, pompous lunatics have stories too. Well, yeah, stories, but fucking whatever. It's fine. I'd rather not tell. No, no, you brought up you had a story. You better fucking tell it, man. You're here in a bar. I'm giving you drinks. You fucking, you talk now, all right? You talk. <clears throat> have you ever seen how the, oh, just give me the name of a drink, you shit. Thank you. Bad, oh, bad touch. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> bad touch. Whatever. Oh, not even Jill's being happy with the bad touch. All right. Fine. Whatever. Oh, excuse me. Goodness, burpee all of a sudden. 
Uh, oops, I missed one of those. <coughs> Ugh! Damn it. No. Whew. Okay. Uh, eight, right? Yeah, there we go. All the rocks and mixed. Shaka, 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 bam! Here's a big bad touch. Here. Yes, this is the one. Well, that's what you fucking want. Fuck you. I don't deserve every second. Jill, please actually take his advice and don't be hard on yourself, all right? Yeah, if ifs and buts were candy and nuts, then don't know the rest of that saying. Lots of faces there. Pride, fear, it kept me from going out and apologizing to Lenore. I don't even fucking remember what keeps me <laughs> fixing this whole situation. Jill, please. Come on. Come on, you're being down enough for the both of us here. Come on, Jill. C come back to reality. Please find solace in whatever feeling has brought me to this situation. Great, now I'm feeling even worse thanks to not being able to muster whatever feeling held me. Oh, teal. That's Teal Tex, is that Say? Say that you're exactly who we need right now. Oh, Say, yeah, all right. Say is back, everybody. Oh, thank God, a normal person. Ah, mommy, yeah, get the fuck out of here, Virgilio. Oh. Ah, <laughs> I don't even care. <laughs> oh, Say, you're too precious. Still more normal than this twat. Yeah, exactly. How are you feeling, Say? Bones are still broken, but at least the cuts are healing. <clears throat> I mean, wounds don't leave marks. It'd be a problem if I couldn't get scar tissue. What happened to you? Fell off two and a half stories into some trash and rubble. Yeah, what happened to you? How did you get that D-bag question mark on your forehead there? Look better, though. Last time you came, you looked like you were about to collapse emotionally. <laughs> I guess. You're the one who looks like it now, though. Yeah, yeah, a little bit, say. How do I put it? It's like when I called you your full name, but magnified. Oof. Hey, don't mind me too much. I'm in a bad mood. Anything I can do? I'm gonna suddenly lash out at you or anyone else. You want something? <clears throat> Not so sensitive today, so let's have a beer. You don't need anything for Helio? All right, well, as long as you're not giving me fucking drink names and riddles. Sorry, right. I like Say, so she's getting a big old beer. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All mixerood. Shika, 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 shika. Bam! Big old beer. Here you go. <clears throat> See if there are any difference from the canned ones. And, and taste less watered down. Something happened to me? Uh. Nothing happened to me, but... People are fine, don't act like that. Boom! Say gets it. Say fucking gets it. I only give doubles to fucking people I like. Verhilo doesn't get- wait, did I give Verhilo a double before? Probably did. Oops. Shouldn't have. You're in those days. No, Say, oh, uh, that's sweet, but no, it's not those days. A bit sulky. No, I'm not on my period. Thank you. No, nope. dealing with the loss of someone. Okay. Oh, sorry. Oh, say, don't be sad. Come on. They shouldn't have come today after all. No, no, I hmm, maybe say no. This, this, don't be sad. Say please. I'm sad enough for both of us. I'm trying to find something. Say, huh? Say, say. La 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 la. The joke would be tasteless and I can't say everything will be alright without it sounding cheap. Wait a minute, didn't I fucking say that before when I was talking to, um... Shit. Stella? When I was talking to Stella when we didn't know what was happening to say, didn't I t say that exact same thing? <clears throat> yes. Yes, am I right? Boom! Boom, I remember! Yeah! Jill with the, with the good comeback here, alright. All right, see you in hell, Virgilio. I'll let the door hit you on the way out. You're just sitting with a Valkyrie. Lol. Splendid, this will make a good entry into my poems vlog. What a shit. What a fucking shit. I'd feel bad about the way I treated him today, but no, I don't feel bad about that at all. Not for the fact that he was being cryptic with his orders for no good reason. Yes, Jill. Jill with the comeback. 
Like Stella when she first came? I don't know. Was she being cryptic? She wasn't that cryptic, was she? No, well, she wasn't the same kind of cryptic. Her fucking cryptic orders were easy to figure out. I gave him a free beer or something and apologized. He seemed familiar. Familiar? With my finger, I feel like I've seen him before. It might just be that he looks like someone from an ad or something. I think you'd remember someone from an ad with a big ass question mark on his forehead. One would think, right? <clears throat> so what brings you here? And is Stella coming in later? I'm with Stella, so I'm waiting for her. Yes! Stella! With you, of course. Oh! No! Say you're too good to us! Slap me real hard, it hurt. <laughs> is that why you lost an eye? <laughs> Those were making me worried and not listening, and then she became happy. Oh. Ask who's lost you're dealing with. Shouldn't be bothered with it. Just pretend I'm in a bad mood and call it a day. You really want to know? Yeah. Oh, we'll say is too nice. Why are people too nice? Oh. People are too fucking nice. And that's not a problem at all. <clears throat> Someone to whom I said I shouldn't. Said some mean thing to passed away before I could ever see her again. Does that work? Eh, sorry. I can't do anything helps me calm down, but... Uh, I mean, it's just that I wouldn't help. I just... Oh, say... I contain myself when I see people in need. Oh, say... Oh. Learn that there are times when you just can't do anything, and that's kind of fine. Oh... I guess... Gotta learn that, otherwise I would have gone insane ages ago. Yeah, true enough. You're a good person, say. Fuck yeah, she's a good- She's not just a good person, she's a great person. And she's cute, too. That doesn't hurt any. <clears throat> just an annoying girl. <laughs> if there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. Say, you will be the first to know, after boss. And then Stella will be the next to know. And then Dorothy will be the next to know after that. Broken bones, that doesn't mean I can't offer emotional support. Oh, Always order another drink, yeah, I need the money. Uh, hint, hint. <laughs> something cold. Alright, something with ice. We can do that. Yeah, bad touch has got ice. Booyah kasha. Alright. Big old bad touch for say. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On the rocks and mixerood. Shaka, 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 shaka. Bam! Big ol' bad touch for say. Here you go. It's pretty cold outside, though. Yeah, I don't like hot or warm drinks. That's fair. Most drinks are good when fucking chilled. I feel nauseous. You know what cheers me up? What? Singing. Hearing people sing helps, too. Oh, say! Oh, I say so good! <laughs> Why is she so good? People have told me my voice is pretty nasty, actually, but they've also told me I'm good with the harmonica. You play the harmonica? It has something to do with breathing exercises with, and the harmonica is a lot smaller than the tuba. Yeah, you know, fair. That's fair. If you practice enough, you become decent. Well, I don't know if that's necessarily true about everything, but, you know, it's a good point. <clears throat> something I didn't expect. I hear that a lot. I know I don't look like the musical type. Used to play the violin right until I was 16 or so. Really, can you still play? At my mom's house, so I don't have it with me, but I guess I could. It's one of those things you don't forget easily. Why did you stop? Uh, why did why did Jill stop playing the violin? Just because she didn't feel like it? <clears throat> I don't know. I just felt like stopping. No deep reason behind it. Bing, bing, bing. It's like me and cooking. That and almost burning my place up. <laughs> uh, that'll do it. That'll do it too. When Stella arriving? You mentioned it. She's a bit late. Let me call her. You do that. I'm go take my break. Tell Gil if you need anything else. Oh, Say. I kind of love Say. She's nice. She's nice and cool and good. Burp, burp. Uh. <laughs> oh, Jill, you shouldn't be jealous, although they are very good together, aren't they? <clears throat> Okay, the first couple are pretty good. Uh, let's get rid of that. 
and that, and that, and that, and that. And what else we got here? Troubling, we don't need troubling news. Who was I? Ooh, that's good reflection music right there. I'll s slap that in there. Uh, this is in shadows, kind of a little mystery. Aw, oh, yeah. A little bit of mystery. How about nighttime maneuvers? Hell yeah. It's a little bit more upbeat. A reminiscence? It's a little on the feelsy side, but I think uh, we're working through it with Jill here, so whatever. Neon District? Yeah! Let's get some jazz up in there! Alright. Hey, Gil. Looks like I've called not- well, of course, Say came around here. I feel like kicking myself, making no mistake, but I guess I cooled down a bit. Say helped a lot with that one, though. Just can't stay mad when I see her. Yeah, Say is good. Say is real good. Speaking of which, where is she? She went outside to look for that Stella girl or something. Where you are right now, it feels like I should be protecting you. Oh, Stella! Stella! <laughs> Lol. The only thing hindering me is my broken arm. I've gone into burning buildings with a two centimeter deep cut. Holy shit, that's really... That's actually really deep! <laughs> I remember that one. One millimeter more and you would have lost the motor function in your arm. Oh, Stella, say, why are you both here? What's this about protecting who? Uh, yeah, I'm sort of like Stella's unofficial bodyguard, but I'm not really a fit for such duties right now. I thought insist I go everywhere with protection, so most of the time I only ask Say if she feels like going out. I'm trained to deal with the kind of things that bodyguards deal with anyway. Yeah, true enough. Oh, she's happy! I like that. More fun to hang around with, too. I'm assuming that gorilla outside is a bodyguard? That's Buster. Pretty cool guy. He played football professionally until he lost his leg in a demolition derby. Whoa, that's rad. Offered him an implant surgery for all his years of service, but he rejects it every time. <clears throat> yeah, used to the replacement he's using, so maybe it's for the best. Thick oak branch on a metal bowl tied to his stump. Wow! <laughs> a little ad hoc, a little prosthetic limb, huh? Yet he can still run faster than me with it. True. You want some? Fine right now. Brantini, a big one. In a good mood. Oh, well you should be. You got say by your side. Anybody would be a, in a good mood for that. Alright, big ol' Brantini. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, blah, blah, blah. Twelve, six powder delta. Two carmatrine, age renode, and mixed. Shaka 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 BAM! Big ol' Brantini. Here you go, Stella. For all these years, I still don't get why the finest and most expensive things come in small packages. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Very true. <clears throat> what happens if you make a triple? You cannot make a triple. You only get uh, space for 20 things in that shaker there. And I don't think anything would be able to be a triple. Uh, and still fit within 20 things, you know? Have you tried to go to a restaurant only for them to serve you a really small portion of some fine food? No, I haven't been to any of those restaurants because that's garbage. That's garbage bullshit and I'm not doing that. You just want to stuff yourself with really cheap food. Yeah, true enough. <clears throat> yeah, let's go for some hamburgers later. I'm not taking no for an answer. Yeah, you better listen to her say, when Stella gets on a tear, she gets on a tear. They say some, you know? <laughs> Might as well call the place and tell them to prepare everything in advance. <laughs> Can I ask you to do something? Sure, I guess. How'd you two meet? Showed up in the park I used to play at when I was a kid. Played a couple times, she started showing up more and more, and that was it. <clears throat> My father told me that when I was five, I kept insisting on going to a real kid's park. What the fuck does that mean? Drove for some time, and the park I liked was the one they happened to be at. Aww, oh, it's so sweet. Have you ever seen a girl in a dress go to a muddy park? Uh, yeah, probably. Learned her lesson and started showing up with more fitting clothes. But man, that's a scene I can't forget. <clears throat> so you two have known each other for most of your lives? Known her for longer than I've known my own father. Why the question? No reason you two just looked so comfortable with each other. Any other person that could have sworn you were an item. A a an item? Oh, uh, so you get a little nervous? That's cute. A couple say, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Stella. Oh, I, yeah, I get it now. 
It's funny because we actually earned a mock prize of sorts for best couple of Stella's high school. <laughs> Three years in a row. <laughs> Brilliant. Dude didn't go to the same high school? Nope. Do you have any childhood friends, Jill? Uh, can't think of any. My grandpa, I guess. What kind of man was he? Gruff. The kind of eat raw Bronson roots every morning. Uh. I don't know what Bronson roots are an, are an uh, analog to here, but it sounds like the kind of shit that people would tell you puts hair on your chest. And I don't need that. Trust me, I got plenty of hair in my chest. <laughs> on me, he was different. His barking orders to my dad only to turn around and play with me gently. Oh, damn. Interesting, though. He's my mom's dad, but after my mom and dad separated, he stayed with my dad. Yeah, he's the one that comes to mind when I think about childhood friends. Jill, what's this bloom light? I don't know, was that a drink of some sort? Spicy drink tastes nice the first time, but it gets samey after a while. It's also brown for some reason. Give me one of those. Two bloom lights. All right, I don't recall seeing that in the thing. Oh, I guess it is. Let's see. That, oh, that will double nicely. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Aged on the rocks and mixed. Shika, 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 bam! There's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, six, six is it. All right. Rocks mixed. Shika, 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 bam! Two bloom lights, two big ass bloom lights for the happy couple. Oh, I kind of like it. Yeah, but after the third one, it starts tasting like sand. Well, spicy sand, but sand nonetheless. Who is uh, living the light? Whoa. All right. I, I didn't think it would have that much booze in it, but all right. She must still be tired. The whole bank thing? Told me about everything that happened there. To be honest, I don't think I would have made it in her place. Because she, I guess I should be thankful for the nanomachine treatment she, that she went through as a white knight. Trauma suppressors. Uh, okay. All right, I get you. Helps with the healing process of PTSD. Mandatory for every white knight, regardless of division. That's a good idea, actually. Healing can only do so much for the three days that bank was hell. Forse is still paying for it. Banning of the White Knights or subsequent persecution of those who are identified as former members is unfair, you know? Among all the people using the White Knights to further their own goals, Say was one of the few that actually believed in what they were supposed to do. That's right, because Say at her core, is a good person. Paid off, though. The <clears throat> doctor who treated her wounds was the same one she's always assisted with accidents and emergencies. Treated her at no cost whatsoever. Aww. That's nice. Well, good karma and all that. Earn the God's favor, I think. You know, I will never claim to be a religious person, but I do sort of believe in karma, a little bit. It just seems to make a lot more sense than anything else, really. <clears throat> no, all of that made me realize I might be a bad person. Oh, Stella. I saw Say wounded asking for help. A part of me was happy. After all this time needing her, she finally needed me. Well, I mean, that's kind of weird, but... I don't know if that necessarily makes you a bad person. That makes you just a person, I suppose. <clears throat> Excuse me. Felt truly useful to her for the first time. Sometimes the best help one can provide is to stay alive. Oh, still, oh, don't be sad. No, it was maybe it was the idea of coming back to you that helped her. I guess you wouldn't be human without thoughts like those once in a while. Yeah, that's right. Ain't you anything else? Good, should be leaving, actually. I'm saying, let's get hamburgers and go home. Yeah, we're leaving now. Bye, Stella. Bye, Say. You two are very sweet. I just don't reek of rage. Yeah, yeah. fair enough. Still feel like a piece of shit. Little steps. Baby steps. <gasps> Kim's back! Oh, Kim! Welcome back. Oh, it's been since... But like day two or something, right? Oh, Kim. Looks at the directions of someone's house or something. I get you. I have a sunshine cloud. All right. Oh, Kim is sweet too. So she's getting a big old sunshine cloud. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And some Karma Train. All right, let's, let's give her a, a little bit. Not a lot. Not a lot. On the rocks and blended. Shika, 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 shika. Oh, wait. I uh, fucked this up, didn't I? Yep, I did. One, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, because it shouldn't have ended up being an uneven an uneven number of shit in there uh, on the rocks. Blended. Shika, 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 Blended up. Boom! Sunshine Cloud. Here you go, Kim. Uh, I don't know. I dislike uh, the J. Jonah Jameson fucking analog, whatever D. Donovan Dawson or whatever the fuck his name is. He's a real piece of shit. Let's be honest. But I like him. I like pretty much everybody else. Virgilio's kind of a dumb shit, but whatever. How's work on the web paper? Oh, I quit. Yeah, Kim! Booty Kasha, stick it right in the face of the man! Went to the office of the chauvinistic horseblower! Boom! Kim! Oh, bringing the heat! Yes! Kim, that's what I like to see. That's what I like to hear. Arrived early to my meeting, got some assignment, spent hours doing it all for the other bitches to come and ruin it. <laughs> Remember that? I didn't have time left, so my supervisor scolded me, so I snapped and quit on a whim. Boom! Kim! Ah! Yeah! This is what I like to see. Do you have any second thoughts? Regret anything? You always have second thoughts even if you do what you want. You'll still think, what if? That's true. That's a very human thing to do. Even so, I was getting physically sick there. I dreaded the arrival of every morning, even- oh. Yeah, Kim, I've been there with one of my jobs. True enough. Thing is, I don't know what I'll do, but it's certainly better than being there. Ha <laughs> ha! <clears throat> Feel free. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> Wonderful feeling. You know, I feel like now I can find something I care about. I want to return to the Augmented Die, but I can still pursue journalism with another outlet. Mmm, Kim! Yeah, more power to you. More fucking power to you. How about your family? They weren't happy, that's for sure. Well, you gotta do, you gotta do some things for you sometimes. Actually, that's really true when I quit one of my jobs. <laughs> my dad was cool with it, but my mom freaked out. Uh, that's true. That's very true. <clears throat> what are you going to do and all that? I don't hear about that. A big drink. I don't know. Bubbly or something. Something big and bubbly. All right. We can do that. Big and bubbly. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, well, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. A fucking congratulatory drink for Kim. For fucking quitting her job. Aged and mixerood. Bam, boom, bam, boom, bam, boom, bam. Boom! Fringe Weaver here, Kim. Current commercials are to be believed. This will clean out my insides. Lol. Also, kill things inside you. Ah. Yeah, Kim. Fuck yeah. How'd you end up working there? No deep reason. That's what I did when I got out of high school. Taking a year off was out of the question, so I went for the first thing I thought about. Couldn't get into the robotics course, so I settled for journalism. Well, you know, communications degrees have some use, after all. <clears throat> yeah, so I got tired of the job midway through it. Couldn't bring myself to leave. Well, come from somebody who's uh, quit his fair share of jobs. Never work somewhere that steals your soul for too long, all right? All right, Let's just take that as a bond signature advice here. Don't do that shit. <clears throat> really common tale, I guess. Did you have troubles like those? Yeah, pretty much. Went through the motions. From high school to college, I never stopped to think about what I was doing, and at some point it just felt like my life slipped through my fingers. Oh my goodness, yeah. Only all I wanted was freedom, a little pause, to stop and take a breather. My life went to hell for that fucking breather. <laughs> uh, um, give me, er, something! <laughs> something? Sorry, just have a dry mouth, anything will do. Jesus, she pounded that back like a pro! Huh. Huh. 
Literally something. All right, well, let's see what we can find for her. She, we gave her a really strong drink that time, so maybe something not quite as strong. Not a beer. Well, although, uh, well. Um. Blue Fairy seems like a good choice. Brantini seems happy. Happy? She she deserves to be happy. Give her a big old Brantini. She deserves, deserves to be happy. Everybody deserves to be happy. One, three, four, five, six. One, two. Aged and mixed. Shaka, 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 shaka. Bam! Brantini. Big old Brantini. Here you go, Kim. Never work somewhere that steals you for too long. Never, never work somewhere that steals your soul for too long. Very important couple words there. <clears throat> I feel like I asked something I shouldn't have. What's that? Sitting in a rough spot right now. What are you gonna do now? Actually, I don't know, hey? It's... As long as you're able to keep your head above water, not knowing what you're gonna do, like, right at that moment is fine. You know? Who feel liberated? That's a good feeling to have. Do whatever I want, study whatever I want, work wherever I want. All the good things. No, it's not that way and it won't be easy, but I feel a lot more confident than when I came out of high school. That's very good. Honestly, don't know, don't get why they put young people who barely know how society works through that one. <laughs> Him, you and me both. Wish you the best of luck. Your mental health should be your priority and all that. Bam, boom, bam. Need the encouragement. Come back if you need more encouragement. <clears throat> I wouldn't dare leave someone alone when it comes to this sort of thing. That's right. That's right. It's, uh, it's really tough to do what you know needs to be done if you don't have somebody who has your back. We'll say that much as well. Yeah, sorry. My words are probably starting to slur a little bit. I have been drinking without eating something for uh, a bit, so my apologies for not being clear. <clears throat> I'm dearly something alone when it comes to this sort of thing. Thanks. Bye, Jill. Oh, bye, Kim. You're sweet. You are sweet. What have I been drinking? Right now, I am drinking uh, rum and cherry Pepsi. It's very sweet, and I kind of regret that because I'm not really a big fan of super sweet things, but at the same time, it's like, eh, eh, it's a drink. Please come again. Uh, take some of that advice for yourself. I know, I know. Fuck you, Gil. And also, thank you, Gil. I will take that advice. <laughs> Call it a day for now. You need some rest. Oh, Dorothy's back! Oh, Dorothy! No, 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 no. We're serving a drink to Dorothy. Fuck you, Jill. We're serving a drink. Oh, Dorothy's so sweet. Oh, why are you hugging me? Oh, Dorothy's so cute! She's so good! Oh, hey, oh, come on, boss. Why you gotta ruin the moment? <laughs> Lol. All night long. Whoa, jeez, okay. Come again? Put it simply, Dorothy will go home with you and she won't leave your side. Oh, that's super sweet. We hope to accomplish with that. Well, at first I was to calm that rage you had earlier. See, their hugs are a cold bucket and I don't promise there'll be any water. <laughs> wow, boss is fucking serious about that, isn't she? Calm down a bit, but honestly, I know better than to leave you alone for another night. Yeah. She's not wrong. <clears throat> She's not wrong. Or at least all the cuddling will give you an epiphany or something. <laughs> Some alien reasoning. <laughs> human or humanoid contact right now. Had your alone time. Now we're playing by my rules. Oh, Dorothy! Why? Why is she so cute? Oh my goodness. All right. Well, we got enough money to pay the electrical bill or whatever. So that's something. No mistakes, good commission, good tips, good flawless service bonus, and boss being boss again. Buy something nice for for both of us. Oh, this is so this is so sweet. She's too nice to us. Can't believe it. <clears throat> we sent out on the 24th. Alright, so we got one more day of work before our huge ass eight thousand dollar electrical bill is due. Jesus.
Oh, let's get in the holiday mood. Buying a mega Christmas tree will prevent her from getting too distracted. All right, well, let's go get that, all right? Who is that little Very good friend. Yeah, Dorothy is a very good friend, all right. All right, mega Christmas tree. $1,350? Jesus. All right, well, I mean, it's required pretty much, but fuck me. It's getting crowded in here. <laughs> All right, any stupid bullshit uh, news we can read here? Uh, this one? Can't stop playing this game. Gorgeous guys, blah, 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 blah. Cute girls, dead fucking music. Is this... Is this the goat? What? I don't, I don't understand. Game of all time? I don't, I don't understand. A shitty game for idiot waifu bots like you. Oh wow. Greatest of all time. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not up with the with all the acronyms of the kids these days, so. <clears throat> Mrs. Waifu equals bad game meme would die. It's a stupid game pandering to idiots. What's there to discuss? <laughs> oh my god, this, this is way too accurate of a 2chan analog. Let's just put it that way. <clears throat> I think of the, the rest of this we've already read, so whatever. Lilum receiving mysterious messages. Halloween is back in October. This terrifying tale didn't become popular until now. Lilum across the city has been receiving strange transmissions with messages that are confusing at best and threatening at worst. Also, we can't remember exactly what they heard, but the most mysterious thing of all, probably they could not record any of the message while they were being broadcast. It's almost as if something had blocked Lilm from doing so. <clears throat> Nothing but anecdotal proof, which is no proof at all, come to think of it. The mystery behind these messages is the one that we should be paying attention to, yeah, I guess, I suppose. Biggest pop idol in history. Well, there will be somebody bigger to come after her, I'm sure. <clears throat> Still coming to terms with the idea of the loom being so quickly integrated into our society. Some say they can't be treated as human because they're mortal and as such cannot really understand what it's like to be alive. Uh, I don't know if immortality necessarily means you can't understand what it's like to be alive. That seems kind of dumb. That seems kind of dumb and short-sighted. <clears throat> Oh, so Kirimiki fandom would disagree. I hope she comes back to the bar sometime. She was nice. She was really nice. There's more about life than I do, and I'm older than this damn city. Blah, 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 blah. I'm with Richard. Added Nacho 6. I may be a dog, but I'm utterly Nacho dog. Ha! Ah. A dog and utterly fascinated at the way she writes about things in her blog, and she's impressed by everything. And nobody really knows what life's about anyways. That's very true. That's very true. The possibility of allowing imports. In a few places on Earth is strictly self-sufficient with an import rate of only 0.8%. However, that might change the recent shortages. More relaxed policy for importers. Importers of what? Won't lift the currency control, but we can provide them foreign currency at a low fixed rate. That way we can secure essential items at affordable, affordable prices. And yeah, private companies are longer, no longer working at full capacity, which is unsurprising news. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, government sucks. Go figure. Okay, uh, has Kirimiki written anything? Uh, I think we've read all of this. It doesn't have the little whatever thing, so whatever. Okay, she didn't need anything, right? Like, if we go, if we go to the shop and then come back. Does it say anything that we need? Okay, good. Oh, that's right. It was the mega Christmas tree that we already bought, right? All right, we're good. And we've got one day to make uh, 8,000 bucks, so I think we'll be good here. Let's give it a little savorino, and then off to work we go. All right, December 23rd. All right, are we feeling better after having all that heavy shit dumped on us? Some are soft and warm. Oh, Dorothy kept us company. <clears throat> you heard me. Yeah, fucking Gil, don't even get your little smug little half smirk, all right? And fuck you, all right? And steaming pile of shit to just sad, where are you? 
<clears throat> sad pile of shit. Still hate myself and still sad as hell, but how to put it, the noise stopped, yeah? I don't know if I explained myself. Sorta, of, kinda. Yeah, Gil, go clean the bathrooms, please. Cozy, I must admit. Can't believe you paid Dorothy for that. Well, if you want to call that payment, I guess. Call Dorothy to tell her that happened to you and she was really concerned. She started for a second saying that she just had the whole night. She had the whole night to go and she just couldn't leave for free. Asked her how much and she said enough to pay for the soda I'm having is fine. Oh, Dorothy! She was worried about us! Oh. I have contacts. <laughs> hey, Gil? Your former KGB ass better not give the boss some shit, alright? <clears throat> Maybe second break, a drink or a hug, just let me know, you hear? I could use a drink. I could use a drink, let's be honest. Alright. Need a bartender, let me know though, lol. Anyways, we have work to do. Yep, let's, let's get some music, let's get some music going. I like, I like our opener. Opener's pretty good, but let's get rid of some of the, some of the deeper shit, you know? Alright, what else we got? Put that back in there. Uh, who was I? Is that kind of deep? That's kind of deep. Too deep for what we want right now. Uh, we'll get some re remixes. Yeah, some heavy industrial shit. How about the remix of Snowfall? Sounds good to me. Butch City? Okay, that's a little deeper, but that's okay. We can, we can deal with that. Uh, we've already got Showtime in there, and that's pretty good. How about an alternate reality? Alright. Alright, sounds good. Nice to hear that again. Yeah, did I not say that the previous one? Oh, Gil, you're paying attention. Alright. What the... Jesus. All right. Well, we've got one. We've got one rad Sheba and one Sheba with a cybernetic eye patch. I guess. Talking to the great Nacho Tumbleweed Jr. Come on, really, boss. I'm taking my break. You know what I said earlier? But you haven't even started yet. <laughs> Come on, boss. Don't go back on your word. What is this garbage? Come on. I'm not serving two dogs. What brings you here today? I want to see the place my best soldier is working at. See the dog I served last Monday? Oh, it's you, Dana. Soldier, why didn't you tell me you were working for Dana? That's not Dana, that's just Jay. I Rad Sheba, I've got a fucking name. You better not forget it, alright? Please. You're part of this whole Sira thing. Part of it? I founded it. The best intentions, but they just don't get us. Well... I don't know if giving dogs the ability to speak and understand was the best idea. So I had to create a place where dogs can be dogs. Here, we can take in any dog without a place in this world. We created our own heaven on earth. Do you take corgis only? Oh, Shebas. You look like one of those sci fi bitches. <laughs> of course. Ba da ba da ba da ba da ba. Include other animals, but sadly, I can only take care of those who are the same species as I. Isn't that kind of specious, Nacho? A little specious. Is a talking corgi with an eye patch. <laughs> Versus a talking corgi with sunshades and a fucking Hawaiian shirt. <clears throat> Manly stuff. Manly drink for the dog. Maybe I should just give him something bitter. All right. Well, fair enough, right? Jill pretty much knows her shit, so I'm gonna go with it. Bitter, manly, and burning. Well, that covers both bases, right? It's gonna be a double, because I'm real, real generous tonight, you know? There we go. Mix rude. Shika, 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 bam! Pile driver, here you go. Have it. Just what I wanted. All right, cool, we did it. Tastes worse than my own butt. Because dogs lick their own butt very frequently, apparently. You asked for it. Hey, you wanted something bitter, okay? I'm just giving you what you asked for, okay? Really nice place. Well, you're the first person not to call it a hellhole. 
All right. <clears throat> the keep Sierra afloat will not go to waste. We'll make her better and better. Pretty much on the verge of closing. Can Boss really afford that? We have more urgent matters at hand, though. In fact, we don't have enough balls for everyone. <laughs> Did they just share the ones we have? You fool, every dog has a right to have his own ball. <laughs> or his own pair of balls, depending. <laughs> Woo! If we can't provide even that, then what's the point of even trying? Alright, well, Nacho's okay, I guess. With the bar closing and all that. Yeah, I guess. Well, boss is helping everybody out, it seems. She's so nice. Many have enjoyed the boxes more than they do the balls. <laughs> what do you think is cheaper, a box of balls or a box of boxes? Box of boxes, certainly. How do you think they ship boxes? <laughs> Tied together? Tied together? Don't be silly. Unless she's paying them straight from her pocket. This bus is that kind of woman. That's true enough. Filled with all sort of recursive madness, you know? Well, I don't know about madness, but recursion, certainly. Doctors consult doctors, boxes come in boxes, bottles come in bottles. Uh, I don't know about that last one. Bottles do not come in bottles. Bottles come in boxes, though. So, whatever. <clears throat> Here only works assuming she's actually paying him with money. Well, paying him with stakes. You're gonna check for people selling boxes, you hear? Sir, yes, sir. Except that to boss, a good stake is more valuable than money. Well... A good steak is really nice, isn't it? What if they come with foil? Russ and Strauss had to be taken to the vet because he ate the foil a piece of cheese came in. Well, don't do that! Stupid idiot dogs! I need a contingency plan. This is not the one to scam people, let alone a dog. Wow, these dudes are just going on about their own shit, isn't it? Hope we can strike a deal with the vet those cypher bastards have. So it's better that we vet for a vet? Yes, put that on the list. Ah, Nacho. <laughs> Are you staying for a while? Just passing by. I've got some errands to run. Great. Gil can go with you. Yeah? You will. Ha <laughs> ha! Suck it, Gil. Still getting paid for today, right? Eh, uh, maybe. Alright, Greenhorn, let's get going. <laughs> I'm paying him anyways, by the way. I just want to mess around with him. Yeah, boss, you're alright. Gil looks like he needed to take a good break, and he's the kind to just not accept such a thing. With Nacho, he'd have something to do, and he'd be away from the bar for a bit. <clears throat> Going back to your office. All right. Boss sure is nice. Glad I'm working with her, too. You having anything? I'm just going to go sit over there and be on standby. I wait orders. All right. Fair enough. Ask how or if he even gets paid with money. Oh, all right. Betty is somebody we recognize, yes. And deal. Getting wasted will make you feel better. She was! Piece of scrap, I just got out of a building full of dogs. Someone has a Y in the shirt and sunglasses. Hey there, robot. He talks. Along the Valhalla. Hey, Betty. You do so, sort of look familiar. Give me a beer. Okay, roll. Sir, yes, sir. So cute. He's fine. Just a beer. Friday after work isn't just a beer, though. It's the beer. Uh. You can have THE beer after any day of work. Trust me, I know these things. It's gonna be a big beer regardless. What are you, what are you talking about here? One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. Oh, four. One, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mixeroo. Shaka, 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 shaka. Bam! Big ass beer. Here you go. Make it special. Cheers! Cheers, Betty. Mm. Hey, Jill, do you like beer? I do not, personally, myself, but Jill, I think, does. None of beer cans in my apartment is becoming a problem, actually. Well, throw them out! <clears throat> throw them out when you empty them. I mean, don't just let them hang around. That seems kind of silly. I had this friend back in high school and made some pretty nice crafts with them. I'm still in contact with him, if you're interested. The thing I need right now is more craft taking up space. Yeah, recycle. You're right. You're right, Sam. You do need to recycle. Things up at Dogtown. Laura Grill is stirring things up for better or for worse. So I'm like a rabbit. Overtly politically correct rabbit. What the hell does that mean? Ever had a pet rabbit? They're a nervous mess that gets startled over the littlest of things. 
Okay. You know, well, that's, that's fair. That's fair. Girl is on the constant lookout, scared of saying something that might irk someone. It doesn't have to be the person she's speaking with, even. It's no problem in the company, but the other day we went out together and holy shit, poor girl can't speak properly. <clears throat> Pauses every sentence to make sure she doesn't say something offensive. Well, I mean, people who are considerate are nice. Let's go with that, right? Nice girl, and it's sweet that she tries hard not to offend anyone, but seriously, she tries too hard. You don't help either. Well, apparently, uh, what did you say? <laughs> oh, we got a grade A troll over here, huh? Yeah, well. Just that, she looks so cute. She's startled. Well, like a rabbit. There's a question of whether she's really like that, or if you're the one making her wary of everything she says. Well, why don't we test that? How? You go out with her. Why? To test if she's really who... Wait, to test if she, if it's really me who makes her like that. It's not like you can say no, you know? I mean, it's my honor that's on the line here. Oh, <laughs> Pulling the old honor line right there. My goodness. I want to prove you're only talking shit about me. Even if you're right, you have quite the fixation. All right, here we go. The big old industrial track coming down, bringing the heat. Actually reacts when I tease her. <laughs> Take it in your stride, but she actually gets startled, squirms, and then gets uncomfortable. She's cute, and her reactions are cute. Oh, but he's got a little crush on this Laura girl. Keep it up, she'll either leave or get used to you. You know, like me. Well, shit, you're right. <laughs> Let's save my teasing for the moment is just right then. Oh, Betty's learning. Betty is learning. What are you doing here? What about the dog? He said he said he had to go out. By the way, he said his name was... Poor girl, do you guys get along? Wouldn't know. We get along as co-workers at the very least. What kind of girl is she? Aside from the whole politically correct rabbit thing. The kind that does things so carefully that she does them really, really slowly. Uh, you know, something to be said about that. Very cautious. If she actually finishes stuff, she does a great job, but it's unnerving. She doesn't actually have to be with us in the building, though. She's more like a freelancer. Why is she there? She likes dogs. That's why I insist that you two would make a fine couple. It's really superficial, Steve. <laughs> it's like saying you'd be fine with someone because you're both women. Deal, you have no idea what you just said, do you? <laughs> Bad example. May I say something? By all means. That Laura girl is really as bland as you claim her to be. Wouldn't she be better off with a more, um... More assertive person, Willem, uh, more assertive partner? There we go. Good cover there, Jill. <clears throat> Yo, piece of scratch, she's totally calling you a pussy. I did not say that, Betty! Stop putting words in my mouth, all right? Jeez. She's right. Yeah, that's right. Sharing interest and being compatible are totally different things. 100% correct. 100% correct. Then you'd be underestimating the power of love. I don't know why, I don't know why. Can't get enough of your love, baby. If you want to admit it or not, love changes people for better or for worse. Eh, well, that's the truth. Who knows? Maybe you've become more assertive after spending time with her. Well, she drive me nuts. Also true. If that's a possibility. Still, why are you so insistent on me and her and getting her together? She's like a cute rabbit. Is someone, so someone might try to eat her out there. <laughs> to eat her, huh? A lot easier to keep her in my sight. So in short, your motherly instincts <laughs> arose because of Flora. <laughs> Why not see if she likes you and you already tried to hit on her, didn't you? <laughs> Alright, this guy, this guy is aware. He is, uh, he is, uh, picking up what she's putting down right there. Not into girls. Oh, I asked her directly. Well, hey, I mean, it's gotta be direct sometimes. Of course he did. Seemed, uh, giddy afterwards, though. I heard her muttering something about meeting her first last year. <laughs> oh, this game. This game is great. It was weird. Okay, enough lore for a night. <laughs> Refrain from using that's what you said last night. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. This pair right here. This pair. <laughs> Had her pegged. Had her pegged 100%. Good work, deal. Get a drink then. <clears throat> Bloom light and a fringe weaver. 
All right, well, these, these folks are okay. So let's give them a double all the way around. Five, five, that should be good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, uh, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five, six on the rocks and mixeroo. Shaka, 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 bam. Uh, eight, two, four, six. Oh, aged. Fuck. Oh, well, that was dumb. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Aged on the rocks and mixed. Shaka, 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 bam. All right, there's a bloom light. And what do we need? What else do we need? Fringe weaver. Ooh, whoever's getting the fringe light is, or fringe weaver is getting fucking toasted tonight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen. Age and mixerood. Shaka, 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 shaka. Boom! Fringe Weaver. Here you go. Bump, 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 Many a drink have been created during a video game's event. Let's put it that way. Mary just said something about making the attendees feel like their customers do. Not sure what that means. Said attendees were, of course, part of some big games company. Seems that company always used too much bloom lighting. Ha! Ha! Bump, 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 boom! drink all the bloom so it's not called that because it glows in the dark no it's called that because every brown ass game uses too much bloom lol i get it did you ever change because of a relationship jill oh bring it back the feels more ways than one i guess did you say for better or for worse uh i don't know honestly i don't know about that one for the better too thick headed to develop any new bad habits ha ah. <laughs> Thanks to my first boyfriend, I did pick up a very annoying habit of correcting people's grammar on the fly. Hey, you know, good grammar is important, alright, Jill? Alright? Don't you forget it. I want to think back to it. One of those kinds of people. Hey, those kinds of people, Betty? What are you saying? And I think I became more, er, what's the word? Weird? Cynical? Jaded? Bitter? Tired of the crap this world of <laughs> This world and everyone in it throws on a daily basis. <laughs> hey. Yeah, he's right. He's right, you know, Betty. <laughs> yeah, I think I became all that because of this one girlfriend I had in college. Got me the whole activism thing in the first place. And yeah, activism is important. <clears throat> We'd all go and protest. We'd start all kinds of movements to see, sing <laughs> to see things changed. Really got into the whole thing, but whenever I wanted to get more serious, I'd find myself coming up against a wall. That wall is an analogy for the fact that not everyone was willing to go that far. Very true. You have to find the people that are willing to go that far. And not in a sexual manner. <clears throat> oh no, pretty fast that most of them were in the whole thing because of some shitty fad. Yeah, people will do that. Not because they actually believed in whatever movement they were championing. So I moved from group to group only to find people who were in it because of a fad. When they were not in it because of a passing fad, they were the dangerous extremist kind. Ugh, yeah. It's, it's hard to get that sort of balance that you're looking for, you know? How much of people's shit was greatly diminished after all that? You shouldn't... Alright, you shouldn't put up with people's shit, okay? You really shouldn't. That's the only thing... That's the only way that things get done, okay? Don't put up with no shit. Don't let people give you no guff. Wasn't so much the person you had a relationship with, but rather other people. So you never thought about it that way? Uh, <clears throat> you need to stop putting the blame for what you do on past relationships. Whatever. Where's the other guy, by the way? He uh, had to escort one of the dogs outside, figures. Oh yeah, the one that was here asked if you were the nice vet lady that works at the Cypher Tour Company. Was he interested in talking to you or something? <clears throat> Why didn't he do it, or then? Alright, listen, Betty, okay? When guys want to talk to somebody that they have a fancy for, 
it takes them a lot of courage to kind of work up to do it, okay? Take it from somebody who knows. I don't know. You've been doing a few jobs on the side, haven't you? The pay from the dogs isn't enough to keep up with the mounting debts. I don't know how you do it. It's hard to believe dogs pay you at all, lol. <clears throat> this is coming from someone working at a place that pays a dog for doing fuck all. <laughs> at least I think we're paying him. I'm not completely certain that we do. We get anything else? Well, we're fine. We have to get up early tomorrow. And by we, I really mean her. Got invited to a picnic and I won't stand here another. I had to go to a picnic with a hangover story. <laughs> this dude tells it like it is. I like him. I like him. And going to a picnic with a hangover is not really great either. I mean, I had my share of those, so whatever. Fine. Let's go then. See you, Jill. Bye, Betty. Bye, Deal. You're you're both very pleasant people. Gonna be the party pooper tomorrow if you keep drinking. All right, break time, which means I will be back in a minute or two. Don't know what, don't know why. I can't get enough of your love, baby. God, Barry White is so good. Oh, I miss him. Mm. Oh, that's good shit. All right. Well, break time, so let's get a little savory and get back into it. <laughs> oh, dinner, you're too kind. <clears throat> yeah, the site I made is... I think it's pretty good, but I've got a lot more shit that I want to do with it, so we'll see what happens, you know? No dogs in sight. Oh, yeah! But we need to pick some new tunes, apparently. Alright, so let's, uh... Bam, boom, bam, boom, bam. Let's see what we got. Let's uh, gaze that invited. What does that one sound like? Yeah, alright. Well, I can get behind that. Good for health, bad for... Eh, nah. That's too new wave for me. Everything will be okay? Everything will be okay. Uh, Sinesta Stitch? Yeah, alright. That sounds okay. Uh, Reminiscence? I think we've had a couple times before, right? Sounds pretty good. How about... Out of Orbit, though. We've had that one before, too, right? Yeah, okay. Alright, back to work. Welcome to the hell- Oh, hey there, Alma. Oh, Alma's back! Hi, Alma. Oh, you look distracted. What's going on? What's going on, Alma? 
Oh no, what's, what's wrong, Alma? She might, she might like classy drinks, but what she really likes... Oh shit, what, what did she have? What did she have before? Oh no! Oh! I want to say it's a bad touch! I want to say it's a bad touch that she had before that she really liked, so we're gonna go with it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. She seems like kind of the, the dirty type, you know? So a, ba a big bad touch is perfect for her. Let's see, let's see if I'm right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On rocks. Not aged. Mixer rude. Shake a 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 bam! All right, Alma. Here's a big bad touch for you. Gonna we gonna open up a little bit? Hey. Yeah, and this? It's on me. Drink, so at least you change your expression. I just say you're worried about me. Oh, I am worried about you. Oh, well, that expression is so cute. Ah! <laughs> Has alcohol and I'm in a bar, so good enough, I guess. Oh, that was the wrong one, wasn't it? <clears throat> Being down and silent is uncanny. Yeah, Alma, you shouldn't be down and silent. That's not good. <laughs> Some sort of windbag. <laughs> no, why are you deflating? Deflating? Yeah, it's sad and started sighing repeatedly. Grandpa would warn me that I would start deflating like an old tire if I kept it up. What was it? Was it the news about people dressing in bunny suits after the whole Alice Rabbit boom? Nah, it's old news. It is a problem. Such a thing would only annoy me. How's your mood right now? I don't want to ruin it by blowing off all my stored steam. Ball. <clears throat> oh, Alma, you tease. I'm feeling like utter shit the last couple days. You can't make me feel worse. So go ahead, unwind all your worries on me. Remember my sister Diana? Yeah, I suppose. Separated from her husband and forgot the kids while fucking her way around or something. <laughs> Use it next time, lol. And tell you the whole story then, more specifically that she threw her husband out after months of abuse. Whoa, shit. That woman is incapable of getting a job and maintaining herself. And I mean that, she never even thinks about selling some stuff or trying to earn her bread. She just expects a guy to do all that for her. Ugh. Nah, nah, you gotta be able to take care of yourself. Man, woman, or otherwise. No idea why she turned out like that. Both my mom and dad were hard workers. They even started a small shop to have something to do after retirement. Does this fully capable woman do a couple of weeks later? Why? Being, bring her abusive husband back, of course. Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that garbage. Don't bring a fucking idiot back. Yeah, I spent a couple of days with her before leaving her again. He had a nice couple of hot steamy nights and then left. And what a shitbag. Yeah, guys will, guys will be shitbags like that, won't they? <clears throat> Acted like my little brother and sister after hearing that. But the story doesn't end there. Oh no. She, she's broke. She can't even get enough for a bus, even though she'd probably just be glad to sell her ass just to get her money. It's up to me to pick her up. For the last couple of days, she left her kids with my parents. Being such a sweet angel, they made a mess out of the whole place. <coughs> Excuse me. Our neighbor are actually staying with me a couple days to give them some peace. Doesn't help that I never got along with Diana, so we're in the car and she asks how her kids are. Of course, after all the built up tension, I just exploded. Aw, Alma. How our kids are growing up and seeing some messed up stuff. Started scolding her about not taking responsibility, about not taking proper care of her children. Well, that might be deserved, Alma, you know? Tell her that she's in no place to have all those escapades. And after all that, she just says, What the hell do you know? You don't have any kids. That's not a good response to somebody who's taking on your kids as an act of good faith, you know? Yeah, you slutty skank. I don't have kids, but I'm not broke just because I refuse to take a job. <laughs> Alma telling it like it is. I don't have kids, but I'm not leaving them in the first barely familiar house I find. True enough. I don't have kids, but I'm not letting the guy that hit on me on a regular basis back into my bed. True enough. I don't have kids, but I pretty much raised Ava and Bernardo, and they've turned out pretty damn well. True enough. <coughs> Whoa! Getting a scene change here. I don't have kids, but I'm not a cheap whore. <laughs> oh boy, Alma! Ah! <laughs> a little screen shake for good measure. Wow. 
Damn. I don't know what to say. There's nothing to say. I love my family put them above all else, but Diana is seriously pushing the boundaries of what I can allow. Yeah, it's true. You shouldn't put up with... You can only put up with so much shit. All right? We'll say that. Anyway, I can help. I just did. By letting you vent. You know what I'm dealing with. I'm not one to let stuff like that get to me. I'm still angry as hell, though, and I couldn't just discuss this with any of my family members. I can't tell my mom your daughter is a slut. Well... You gotta clarify which daughter, first of all. I just need to get all of this off my chest, you know? Yep, that's true enough. <clears throat> Still a lot more to get off your chest. It's swollen as fuck. <laughs> ah, all you see here is filled with love and dreams. <laughs> and silicon. But whatever! Who, who cares? Who cares? When your family is busty as you? Worst defender is my dad. Whoa. Okay, got a little, got a little moobage going on, huh? The only one that didn't get the big boobs gene was Ava. She insists on getting surgery and genetic treatment, but I tell her she's fine the way she is. It can actually be more of a hassle than a blessing, yeah. Back pain and all that, right? Excuse me. Poor Bernardo, his breast actually started growing when he was eight. Oh, no. <laughs> That's funny. I like it. Let's hope I don't take too much from my mother's side of the family. Father and sister still look quite young, but when menopause hit, my mom lost her looks rather quickly. Oh, come on. Looks aren't everything. Any good genes you got from your family, Jill? Good enough skin and hair, I guess. Think about a shrimp allergy, but so far I haven't had any problems with that. <clears throat> you know what worries me the, the most about the whole Diana situation? Nephews are turning out. She leaves them with my mom to turn out better than her somehow. <laughs> well, small mercies, right? What worries me is, what if I end up like that too? How so? If I find a good man and I settle down, what if he turns out shitty? Well, you dump his asshole. That's what happens. That's what you do. The guy's a dick, just dump him straight away, man. If I have a sudden burst where I want to live my life and end up like that. If I have kids and I end up neglecting them because of all that. Oh, if Alma, you won't do that. You're a good person, you won't do that. The fact that you're even worried about it is indication enough that you'll be fine. Booyah kasha. Bim boom bam. There we go. Pretty sure. Said before that she pretty much married the guy after a couple of months, right? No offense, but those are the kind of people who wouldn't even think about all that. Besides, if any guy ends up marrying you, it's because he passed your irrational standards. <laughs> oh, Jill, bring in the heat. Bring in the heat. Yeah, not taking no guff from Alma here. There are things best kept as unspoken truths. No, Alma, sometimes you gotta hear that shit, okay? You gotta hear it. If I'll ever find a good guy. Uh, they, they are out there. As rare as they are, good guys are out there. <sighs> I hope so. For now, the time has come to get another drink. What would you like, Alma? Something with ice, but alcoholic. <laughs> Well, I know my fallback, but is it with ice? Nope. All right. That's the strongest thing I remember. Uh, what was the frothy water? Asian mix? No. Type? Classics? Cold and with alcohol. Well, that doesn't have alcohol at all, does it? I think manly drinks have alcohol, right? Nope. That doesn't have ice in it, though. See what we can find. How about a crevice spike? Blended? No, no ice in that. Out of bad touch. Well, this has alcohol. Isn't this what I gave her from the start? All right. Well, two big bad touches in one night, right? <laughs> one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. On the rocks and mixer rude. Shaka 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 boom! Another big bad touch for you, Alma. Here you go. <laughs> <clears throat> Need to cool down a bit. Said you felt shitty the last couple of days. Why? Oh no, don't make us relive this again. We've had our feels for tonight, please. Come on, you heard my problems, I wanna help you too. Oh, that's very sweet of her. Don't worry too much. Right, I almost forgot to tell you something. Boss is throwing a mega Christmas party this Sunday. Yeah, let's invite some folks. There are not hot, no hotkeys for the drinking greens. I'm sure there is, but you know, 
I just drag and drop like a little scrub. <clears throat> Something tells me this Mega Christmas is going to be a mess at my parents' home. I'd rather avoid it. You getting chicken? You can get one. <clears throat> I wouldn't know. Bring it if you want. It won't go to waste. Hey, Jill, what's your favorite part of the chicken? Oh. Uh, the leg, I guess? Chicken legs are pretty fucking tasty. Yeah, Jill! Fucking 100% sink here! <laughs> I like breasts better. Ha! Ah, she likes the breasts. Of course she does. Of course Alma likes the breasts. Bitsy simple, don't you think? Legs have a better texture. Legs taste up. Legs are fucking amazingly flavorful. QWRT shift backspace and space. Yeah, I'm not using a QWERTY keyboard right now, so that wouldn't exactly work for me. Sniffle is usually better. Breast is easier to enjoy than legs and a lot less messy. Yeah, that's true. The legs taste better, man. <laughs> These silly girls. Oh no, pause. How much of that did you hear? <laughs> Talking about breasts and legs and everyone knows the best parts are the wings. No, like wings hardly have anything to them, though. Jesus. Boss, you are you are objectively wrong this time, boss. I do not feel bad about saying so. Spicy chicken wings. Chicken wings are pretty good, but there's hardly anything to them. There is nothing to them! Given the choice between legs and wings, I'll take legs any day. Where do you get spicy chicken wings? From a spicy chicken. Lol. I just in the shop two blocks from here. Why are you carrying a bucket of spicy chicken wings? <laughs> Why aren't you carrying a bucket of spicy chicken wings? <laughs> well, because, huh? Not as much. Yo, Armitage. Alma, you know what I said. <laughs> Will the chicken you're talking about be cooked already? Might need to heat it up. But it be cooked otherwise. Great. So you'll be here Sunday at 8 p.m. All right. Back to my office. Okay. He left the bucket. <laughs> I don't know, I'm, I, you know, chicken wings are good and all, but there's just not enough to them to be, like, truly enjoyable. To be truly, truly enjoyable. I will always take legs over wings. And breasts are, are good in a sense, but legs are probably better. Now, if you get the, if you get the quartered chicken approach, like the leg and breast combo, oh, so good. It's really good. Don't mind if I do. Oh, mild spice. Nice. Weird. Maybe she got a mixed up board and that's why she left them here. <laughs> that is a good quote. Fun buckets that make any my throat itch just from being near them. <clears throat> what kind of guys do you like? Oh, Alma. That's a little personal, isn't it? That's a sudden question. Yeah, it sure is. Not too picky with guys. To be honest, I want them to be decent enough. Decent guys are nice, aren't they? Have permission to add. Uh, only mods can add quotes there, uh, yeah, Jones. Plus, you had the wrong command there anyways. That's why I gave you back a random one. But uh, don't let me forget about that one. I will add it to the list myself. Not jealous, not aggressive, responsible enough to keep a job. Hell, yeah, sounds like me, I suppose, I hope. No good? Do you like them buff? What about tall? Wow, alright, almost talking just about the physical aspects here. Alright? No tattoos or piercings, I guess. Never liked either. What about you? Like them well-dressed. <laughs> the well-dressed gentleman. Fair enough. They go out in iron shirts and well-coordinated clothes. They're sure to catch my mind. Well, I don't... I don't iron any of my shit. Most of what I've got are t-shirts. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. Some muscle is always fine too, but sharply dressed males catch my attention faster. Well, sorry, I guess I wouldn't fit your bill there, Alma. I go out in jeans and a t-shirt and fuck anybody who gives me a side eye. And yet you're still single. Now <laughs> <laughs> I like my men. My potential husband, on the other hand, is another matter completely. Can you get me a drink here? The spicy wings turned out to be spicy. What do you want? Anything, as long as it helps me with the spiciness in my mouth. Well, that's not very helpful there, Alma. Like, I could get you anything that would help you with the spiciness, but what's, uh... What's good for the spiciness, you think, huh? What would be good for spiciness? A spicy drink? <laughs> Let's go with a spicy drink. How about a bloom light? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Age on the rocks and mixeroo. Shaka, 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 boom! Bloom light. Here you go. Here's a spicy drink for you. <laughs> I'm this close to throwing it in your face. Aw, mission accomplished. <laughs> yeah, all right. <clears throat> all right, so next question. Wait, Alma, you're really digging deep on these questions here. What kind of girl do you like? <laughs> Good for a laugh. Uh, <laughs> you first. <laughs> I don't swing that way. No, come on, Alma. You're not fooling anybody here. You are not fooling anybody. For my men, prefer men in my bed. Okay, you know that's fair. That's fair. Now you. Shit, just calm down. <laughs> I guess I like girls with light colored hair. Oh, huh. Light colored hair, huh? <laughs> uh, yeah, you know, like redheads. Redheads are not light colored hair. Come on, Jill. Let's get it together. Revolt white, like your boss. Ah, but on boom Elma gets it. <laughs> You're just setting me up for that comment, weren't you? Lol. When you got here with the bucket of wings, your eyes pretty much started sparkling. Oh, cute. So cute. <laughs> well, behavior transformed to being giddy and cheerful all of a sudden. You can't believe me, she is pretty nice. She is, boss is very nice. I will not deny that. Boss is pretty nice. I just felt like teasing you. Yeah, of course Alma would tease me. The light colored hair. What about blondes? You like me? Oh, Alma, of course that would be that. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, you're all right. Let's say I'm into girls too and, I'm, and I start hitting on you. Would you go along with it? Nice body, pretty face, and a good apartment? Would never let you go. Oh, boom! Return fire! <laughs> why don't you tell me why you were feeling shitty these last days? Oh. I told you not to think too much about it. I told you I don't want to know. Come on, Jill. Heard my problem so many times, now I want to help you. Oh, Alma's way too sweet to us. I'll just sit here. Come on. That uh, what? What are you? Oh, nice! We get to see ourselves finally. Oh my God, Jill is so cute. She's a cutie. All right then, I'm the bartender and you're the client. Hardly. Bartending station only works with me. Well, I see. Okay then. Whoa, Jesus! Oh, that's right. Almost a hacker. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> because I should have expected as much, right? God damn, I am cute as fuck though. Now it works for you, for me, and that dog in a Hawaiian shirt. Why with him too? He's a dog in a fucking Hawaiian shirt. <laughs> oh my goodness, Alma, why? Okay, fine, fine, fine. How'd you even manage to- Nah, she's a, she's a hacker, Jill, alright? Remember. Yeah, exactly. Now we change roles. You've been feeling shitty. Mind telling me why? A long story, don't even know where to start. Start from the beginning, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> okay then, something that goes back to my college years. It's taken it way back, back in compulsory education. I never made it too much of an effort, but I managed to get high grades. Uh, okay, Joe and I have a lot in common. In PE, I managed to do well enough to always get perfect grades. Well, PE was kind of my downfall, and not in college. But who the hell takes PE in college? Like seriously. Bunch of garbage. And of course, when I got to college, shit started getting hard. Well, that's not exactly true, but okay, go on. I this perfectionist streak that wouldn't let me fail anything. Well, all right, all right, all right. So here's the thing, right? If you're going to college, there's there there's two types of people that go to college. There's the type of person that goes to college because they have pretty much unlimited money and everything's paid for for them. I was not that type. And then there's the people that go to college because they truly believe in being there and improving themselves and do whatever it takes to get by. That was me, by the way. <clears throat> Earning my eyelashes studying, I eventually managed to keep up good grades about, for about half the career. I had a student teacher, her name was Lenore, huh? Former girlfriend, I guess. She helped me a lot with my studies. She even got me into stuff that gave more credits. 
Really liked her, and after some time, I found out she liked me too. Aw. Started going out. I met her, all of her family, even, and... A drink. Around this time, there's usually a pause that makes you offer a drink to the client. Lol. <laughs> there was no such pause. All right, what do you think Jill likes in, in terms of drinks? Just this whole bartending interface. Sugar rush, then. Can't mess that up. All right, well, guess what? I'm gonna give myself a double sugar rush. <laughs> All right, one, two, three, four. One, two. Optional karma train. I'm gonna give myself kind of a strong ass drink because, you know, whatever. Also, if you earn their way there, scholarships and hard work and have to prove themselves that their life is over. Yeah, true enough. I, I probably actually fall more into that category, let's be honest. <clears throat> but yeah, yeah. The, I'd, I'd certainly say there was still just the two types there. The ones that were there uh, by somebody else's money, aka not their own. And then there were there, there were there were those there who actually wanted to be there. And whether or not they were there on somebody else's money, they worked to be there. That was certainly me. Uh, okay, so I got everything here, right? All mixed. Sheka, 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 boom! Uh, stop, please. Sugar rush. Like I said, you can't mess up a sugar rush, lol. There's gut feeling that with your body, you'd make a better bartender than me. Oh, what? Like, a lot of people have complained about Jill's flat chest, but I don't really see a whole flat chest there. Like, that looks... It looks decent. It looks sizable. I mean, what's the what's the deal here? You're cute, you know? Oh, Jill is kind of cute. I will say that. <clears throat> Go, don't go to bars for cuteness, though. That's true. They go to bars for hotness, or they go to bars for alcohol. The two main reasons. Me, I go to bars for alcohol. That's just the way I, that's, that's the way I do. But I don't go to bars much anyways, because I buy my own booze and make my own drinks. <coughs> Excuse me. I've actually never been to a cat bar then. No, I haven't. Besides, my boobs can be a hassle when trying to move around this kind of stuff, so keep telling the story. Well, as the career went on and on, it got harder and harder. The last year and a half of it became nothing but study session after study session, investigations, a thesis, adoration ceremony came, I had to make a speech, and suddenly, while reading said speech, I upset a panic attack. Well, luckily, I never had to do that. Never had to make a speech for my graduation. That would have been kind of dumb and stupid, and I wouldn't have done it. Fear of public speaking, I realized I lost about a year and a half of my life. I tried to remember if I did anything fun at all, but all I could remember was studying and investigating new topics. <laughs> Well, I will say I had I had I had my fun in my college years. I was present enough to do that. Didn't even enjoy doing all that, so I was just staying there, and the satisfaction of graduating was minimal. Unless I had only gone through the motions day after day from high school to graduating, I felt like the whole whole years of my life had slipped through my fingers. Well, I don't even know what to say to that, really. I never stopped to think if I enjoyed what I was doing. In fact, I never stopped. At that point, I stopped and realized I needed a breather or something. And did I even tr like that career? It was terri all terrifying as hell. Uh, true enough. I needed all of my strength not to start running like a panicked mess. So a couple months later, I get an offer to start working at this big research facility. So proud of me. Aw. I was just scared. That would be my job. I'd spend my life expanding on what I did during that year and a half. What if I had a sudden realization like the one I, that I had at graduation, but when I turned 40? Well... 40's a long way off still. <clears throat> Didn't know what to do, but I sure as hell wasn't taking that offer. Held in Lenore and she freaked out. She confessed that she was jealous because she never got such a chance. Well, unfortunately, it's more about who you know than what you know nowadays. Things devolved pretty quickly. She said one too many things. I said one too many things. In the end, I just stormed out of her house and I broke her face in the process. And never spoke to her again. And then I learned that she just died, so... Feeling shitty about that after all this time, though. Unless you've been feeling shitty for years. Well, there is that, plus... <laughs> yeah. <clears> the <throat> other day, Lenore's sister, Gabrielle, came to this bar. Apparently, Lenore, Lenore died this week. Ugh. Localized nanomachine rejection. Heart attack. Apparently, she had it for a long time and never told anyone. Coincidentally, it got worse after I left. <clears throat> I just can't stop thinking about it, wondering if me being there would have made a difference. And if it's true, she had that for a long time, why didn't she tell me when she was sick when we were together? I don't know, I just feel like, 
All kinds of failure. Oh, that was perfect music for that actual conversation. Weird. And to make it worse, I also lashed out at Gabby. Yeah, she was blaming me for her sister death and all, but she's just a kid for fuck's sake. Uh, plus, the sister pretty much raised her on her own. <clears throat> Stop it all off, I suddenly can't remember what stopped me from apologizing. Pride, fear, stupid effort to leave the most awesome person I loved as a thing of the past. Uh, again, Jill, sometimes uh, you need to take responsibility for yourself. <clears throat> and if that involves hurting someone, well... Sometimes you can't get away from that. Who cares? Lost my chance to apologize to her forever. Truly forever. True enough. What a piece of shit. Selfish piece of shit. <clears throat> Honestly, don't know what to say. Didn't expect the story to be this. Well, that's what happens sometimes, Alma. Yo, boob tender. <laughs> nice. Get me a big beer. Big beer, a big beer. What makes a beer big in this thing, lol? Good thing I know. I got you covered, Alma. Don't worry. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All mixed. Shika, 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 boom. Big ass beer. <clears throat> Big beer for Jill. Need to remember to take care of the cans in my apartment. You drink lots of beer? Yeah, shitty ass canned beer, apparently. Dude, liver implant. <laughs> a liver implant. You know, I don't think I would go for a liver implant. My liver does work hard on its own, but I don't think I'd go for an implant for it. Hey, Jill, what kind of girl is Lenore? Uh, well, it's calm, smart. Back in college, I was too thick-headed and got riled up easily, stressed with my default state. It's like you're behaving right now. Lol, shut up. I was worse. Can't picture that. No, don't, don't. It's embarrassing. Anyways, she was always there, finding a way to cool me down. Also able to hold the conversations about pretty much any topic. The time I saw her go from talking about video games to talking about sports. Hey, that's not that big of a stretch, let's be honest. I mean, I'm big about the video games, alright? And I'm not big about the sports ball. But I could probably transition from one to the other without too much trouble. All that variety while still being a hardcore scientist. She would always push me into social interactions. If she saw me by myself, she would drag me with her. Watching people is fine, but talking to them is better, she would say. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that. Or would always present me to her many acquaintances as the girl I don't mind cuddling with for hours. <laughs> Aww. Oh, sweet. Man, I'm gonna miss her. For a point, I didn't even think about getting back into a relationship without, with her, but such an awesome person that I just wanted to apologize and now you know, in a cruel twist of fate, irony she's the one that made me pick up bartending I was thinking about what the hell to do with my life I remembered one night we spent at the club she started talking about how the drinks were synth synthesized chemistry involved, reactions and all that everything sounded so fascinating I remember starting saying that her talk made me want to start mixing drinks and you can make some pretty good drinks on your own without knowing recipes you know just kind of have a basic understanding about what shit tastes like before you start doing that. I blame uh, mid-teenaged me about learning about that stuff the hard way. <laughs> she said, if everything else fails, why not take up bartending? Some value of okay, yeah? It's just, I wanted to thank you, Alma. I said I just needed someone to tell all this to, and you were the one. You volunteered yourself. You insisted on listening. You stood there listening to the whole thing from beginning to end. Excuse me. I know I might not be the most expressive person, that I'm not one to spout love and fulfill and fluffiness. Excuse me, fulfillness. And all. I really like you. Maybe I'm just a bartender and you're just a client, but I really appreciate your friendship, or at the very least, your patronage. Really enjoy working for you. Aw, Jill, are you dying? What? Shut up! I'm trying to have a heart to heart here. <laughs> nice. Sorry, sorry. It's just. It's weird for you to get so sappy. Hey, everybody has their moments, okay? Realize the saddest thing is how I'll never be able to make amends. It hurts like fucking hell, you know? Uh, yeah, I hear you, Jill. I hear you. Never, I mean never, want to feel that way ever again. I don't want someone to suddenly exit my life and have my last memory of them evolve to something nasty. Also very true. I don't want the lingering grief of having burned a bridge on a whim. To avoid that at any cost, and it means breaking character every once in a while, so be it. Jill is very worldly now, suddenly, and I like that. 
she is growing as a character and as a person. I like that. <clears throat> I'll let everyone know how I really feel about that one. If I ever fight with them, I'll swallow my pride, muster all the courage I can, and be the one to apologize. Hate feeling like this. Hate it. Hate it. Nice resolution. Maybe I'll be a copycat and do the same. All right, no sappiness. Get back here. I'm on duty, you know? Almost closing time anyways. It was fun while it lasted, though. Mean it, you know? Thanks for everything today. Aw, silly Jill, you listen to my problems, I listen to yours. That's what friends are for, right? Yeah, true enough. I'll be leaving now. Oh, before I forget, did you ever talk about all this with your parents? They know the basics, but I haven't told them about Lenore's death, right? I should do that sometime. I don't know, I don't want to bother them with my problems. I'd love to share your problems, yeah. I guess that's true. Try having a talk like this with them sometime, I'll appreciate it. Anyway, I'm out. See you on Sunday. <laughs> Tell the girl show is nice. Yeah, that's right, boss. She is, she's, she's a good she's a good person. I mean, she gives me some shit. I give her some shit. And all kind of balances out in the end. <laughs> Did you hear all that? Not all of it, but a good chunk at the very least. Aw. That's changed a lot already. Did? And you look happier. That's always good. Let's call it a day. Expect an even brighter jail tomorrow. Yeah, boss, about those chicken wings. Fucking idiots with the spicy chicken. Sorry, Dana. We won't have enough spices for your order until tomorrow, they said. Is that how they treat the regulars? Oh, call the manager. <laughs> Lol. <clears throat> All right, we did a good. We did a good, but we didn't make much tonight, apparently, because we didn't have many paying drinks. All a service bonus. Oh, what? We made a mis- Did we not get Alma her preferred drink? That was probably what happened. Cherish Titty Hacker, she's a good friend. <laughs> oh, boss. But we've got enough. We've got the eight thou. We've got the eight large for this. Charge 8,000 as payment for an electricity bill. Have a nice day. She gives her peace of mind and now she'll focus at work. No problem. All right, good. Well, unfortunately enough, it is getting late, so we'll have to call it a night. We will have to call it a night for now. We're not gonna read the news or go out shopping or anything. We're just gonna save and then call it a night. As we, we went on for quite a bit tonight, and that's good. We dealt with some heavy shit. We dealt with some heavy shit, but I think we made it through okay. But we are gonna have to call it a night. So, uh, next stream will be tomorrow night, 7 p.m. CST, we'll be running an LTTP randomizer. And after that, uh, next stream after that will be Sunday night, 7 p.m. CST, we'll be back to a Zelda Android Cactus speed runs, and then we'll be back to Valhalla on Monday night, we are gonna give this all the time it deserves because I am into this now. We are into this till the end, 100%, 100%. So that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching everybody. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.